Okay, so good morning, everyone. Team will get started. And uh, before we move any further, people who are joining me for the first time, I'm Shivakumar Jaychandran. Welcome you all for the live commentary session. In today's session, we will be decoding the markets using OI Pulse and other indicators which I've been using it. And uh, like an, uh, as a disclaimer, please do not try to mimic or copy my trade or most importantly, please understand the risk that is going to be rewarding from the options market. It has a potential rewards to give you large returns and also like a potential risk to erode your capital as well. So please understand that before taking any calls because I will not be responsible for any of your profit or loss if you are taking trades on your own. So with that being said, let's deep dive into the markets. What has been doing in the last one week or so? If you have been seeing my morning messages, which I've mentioned it, these guys are like and slowly but steadily taking the market lower and lower without like in uh, causing what is a uh, giving you any kind of an hint that we are going to be going lower. So in that sense, many of you would have been thinking that like and this is going to be the level of support and that is going to be a level of support. All those supports are like and slowly but surely winding away. If you'd have been seeing the high which got formed around like a 25th of October, after which, yes, the market was trying to inch up, but it couldn't. And every move on the uh, like in way up has been like a completely been in a sell off. And most importantly, it has broken the 20 day moving average and then the 50 day moving average in the process. Yesterday, they were trying to take it out, but they couldn't. And crucial level of support which is coming in at somewhere around 37,769. Why this level of support? Because that was the previous high which was made in the month of uh, February. So whenever they are trying to take out a particular level on the way down, you might just try to get some kind of a support on the way down. So currently that is almost like in 400, 500 points away, which you can expect it as a minor support for the day. In case if they are breaking that, then probably yes, all the way a free run wherein we had a, what to say a fall and then like on a move and everything happened up to 36600. That can be a possibility. And one more thing which I want you guys to keep remembering on the Nifty. Yes, even the Nifty has been like in falling both Reliance, HDFC, Infi, Infi and TCS has been like in providing a little bit of support, but these guys have also given up after the 240 point rally which we had a couple of three, four days back. Now, whatever the low which got like in the made, this was a free candle which was done on 12th February, like in 12th November, right? Many people ask like, and why that particular candle opened this level and then like and moved higher and so on. Now, today you would have got an answer why they have did it because they were being like in creating a position on the open and low and that low has been breached. Will the Nifty also do the same thing? The low on this particular candle was around 17,737. Currently, our market is trading somewhere around 17,909. Okay. So another 100, 150 points before they make any kind of a move. And in terms of the trend line support, which I mentioned in the morning message, this is the trend line support, which I'm expecting it, 17,550 odd zones. So why it is a trend line support? If you'd have been seeing from almost all the data since the March lows and other things, we have been protecting that level multiple times. So they have not breached that level on the trend line multiple times. So I'm expecting a minor support to be there. If they fall below that, you are having to have like in a congestion zone, which is going to be somewhere around 17,400 to 17,350. Keep that in mind. And I will just give you like an one quick uh, history for all of you, which I think like and many of you would like and not have seen it. In case if you have not seen it, I, it's my responsibility to just show you that. What I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be adding an exponential moving average of 200. I'll just like and give you a, a rough uh, data on this one, why I wanted to show you that. Okay, how many of you are using uh, like an EMAs here? Exponential moving average. I don't use much. Yeah, many of you use like in a simple moving averages and other things. But if you'd have been using uh, exponential moving average, this is for the Nifty like in uh, since like in 2002. And what I was trying to see for this is every year, at least once the Nifty has been touching the exponential moving average at least once. 
Okay, this is going to be the first year in case of the Nifty 2021 with like another uh, one and a half months left will be the first year in case of the Nifty doesn't have an touch and go there. So why I like and uh, look at this every year, literally these guys have been like and touching the exponential moving average at least once, even during the COVID period, not non COVID period everywhere. So where is the exponential moving average on the 200 day? It is around 16,049. That means the market needed to fall another close to 2000 points. So will it happen A 2000 point crash in the next one, one and a half month? Is it going to be a possibility? It's an interesting one, right? So will there be an odd year where the exponential moving average is not getting tested? If that happens, this is going to be the first year which you are going to be witnessing in Nifty. Okay, since the day of inception, the Nifty has done it every day. And this will be the first year in case if they are not able to do it. Let's see, we still have like another one and a half month. That doesn't mean like an I'm bearish on the market, but anything is possible in this market. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so things have happened in the past. Things can happen in the future as well. So keep a close tab on this one. And just like in keeping you a small heads up on how this trend line and support line and everything is going to be banking around. So this is the level around 16,000. Okay, with that said, one thing which has been like a very annoying and like an unusual for this market is the way the fall has been happening, but the wicks has not been rising. If you have been seeing the wicks, it has been like in moving around from 17 to 14 and like in almost to 15 odd zones now, okay, which is unusual, okay, with the kind of fall which we have been having under 150 point fall, I would have normally been expecting the VIX to move from 15 to 16, 16 to 17 and so on, because the shots are slowly adding up the position. How will I know that the shots are adding up their position? Yesterday, yes, it was like an unusual wherein, uh, just give me a minute. Okay, dashboard. Yeah. If you have been seeing the EOD analyzer for both Nifty and the Bank Nifty, so in the last two days, many people have been questioning me, right? So, uh, she was like, in spite of the Nifty being falling, why we are not able to see the VIX rising up? So if you remember one point which I said, if the VIX needed to rise up significantly, we needed the shots to be more than the long unwinding. If you have been seeing in the last two days. The longs are the ones who are unwinding the more uh, than the like in a short buildup which has been happening. That's the concern here. So I would love to see more of like in a short buildup happening. And for the next series as well, though we are having a short buildup, which is not a pretty significant quantity, which is getting created. So I would love to see more and more short buildup created in the current and the next series. Yes, the rollover and other things will usually happen, but usually that happens in the last week of the series, but not one week before. So. We would love to see more of like in a short buildup happening in the current series and the next one, which is going to be very interesting one. Okay, on the Bank Nifty again, you can clearly see it has been like in a continuous down roll except one day wherein some kind of a small long buildup happened, but that was not a significant volume. Yesterday, it fell with like in a lot of volume and good price action as well. And if you are looking at the current series, there has been like in a huge long build, like in a short build up, and then uh, what to say, a uh, short covering happened on one day, but you can clearly see the price didn't move much. In spite of that, they were trying to do whatever that is possible from their end, which was not happening, and the longs have started to unwind their position. So if you are a participant in this market, I wouldn't be expecting you to be like in, uh, looking to buy in this market in an, uh, what to say, unless and until there is an open and high similar to yesterday, there might be a possibility. But other than that, if there is an opportunity, it will be like a more or less a sell on rise market for me. If someone who wanted to become bullish on this market, if you wanted to become like in a positional uh, bull player now, at least they needed to clear the like in a 50 day moving average with the volume. And then they needed to clear this 38, 500 staying above like and for one day, then it makes sense for you to consider to be a bullish. Otherwise, it will be like in a sell on rise all the way up here. So even with whatever the like in a move happened here, all those was like and completely got sold off in the second half. So that is clearly suggesting it's more or less like in a sell on rise market. And 
considering the way the market has been behaving, please, please, please try to stay light in this market in case if you are a newbie who couldn't handle the volatility and other things this is ideally not a market for you because even yesterday many of you have been like and thinking that the market has gone up and it is going to be going up and they were keep buying or like an averaging the fee position guys trust me one thing once this vwap level and other things are like and going out of the park do not even try to average or like and hold your position moreover it is a wednesday and you are going to be losing the premiums left right and center so in that scenario it doesn't make sense for you to hold that position aggressively okay now coming back into the data on the oi pulse what are the data which we saw till now like and on the futures oevd it is clearly suggesting the shots have been like and piling up the pressure and with tomorrow being an holiday okay you do not know what is going to be in store for the next 3 days today paytm is also going to be getting listed paytm listing is going to be expected to be weak that's what many market participants have been uh, like in uh, thinking about so if that listing is going to be weak that is also going to be putting up some kind of a negative sentiment that is going to be indirectly telling that there is a like in a near term pressure that the market is not expecting much upside and we can be falling okay so keep that in mind yesterday all the open and high has been hit left right and center on the call side whenever like and this is something which we are going to be doing it on monday as well so this is a typical day wherein the open and high can be like an a hit last week there were a couple of instances where the open and high were met hit those were the only days in the recent past which i have seen when you have like an in the money and at the money when you have so many strikes having an open and high not getting hit but 90% of the time it will be similar to this they will just go for the open and high hit that number and probably around 30 40 rupees try to trigger whatever the stop losses that was placed there and then like and take more sell positions from there and then fall and even if you would have looked at it 38000 the like in the round near strike it went from all the way to like in the open and high was around 438 it went all the way to like in 500 odd zone 565 and went and closed at 21 Seven. So the last traded price was like uh, what to say, two thirty-seven. Okay. So this is something which I want you to watch out for today, and yesterday and day before yesterday. If you have seen the like in the three twenty strategy, this is on Tuesday. It was at two ninety-five. The open itself it gave to almost like an a hundred percent return. From there it started to fall, but it never went to the stop loss. But it again went and closed at four hundred and twenty-eight. So people who were not able to exit initially, they would have still been able to exit on the profits. And yesterday, guys, the most important thing about the three twenty, if it is giving you more than one percent return on the same day by three twenty to three twenty-eight, it has already moved from four. 60 to almost at 510 520 actually the 518 was like an almost the closing price here so when you are getting like in more than 50 60 rupees still if you are thinking to hold and then like in uh, like in that sometimes yes it is a greedy nature of us we wanted to like and carry an overnight position thinking that it might but if you feel that like and you have already achieved your target and other things why you wanted to carry your position for the following day that is my simple question in case if you have got your reward in the same day itself in 7 or 8 minutes if i were you i would definitely book my profits and then get out of the trade yes it can give you another 30 40% returns the following day but you know the risk that is going to be there it can also take away 30 40% of the money that you have deployed so it is always a dangerous one if you are going to be thinking about taking it don't complain on the system because the system has been designed to like and pick up what it has been expecting it if you are taking a risk then you are taking a risk on your own okay so nobody is forcing you that you needed to trade on this one no if you are taking a trade then you needed to understand the risk so that's the reason i keep insisting people if you are like an one lot player and two lot player do not even have any kind of a trade on this one okay so never ever do that because this is not designed for you this is where like and, and people who are like and what to say having a large capital who wanted to take like an out of their profits who wanted to take a small risk on their profit they can try it but why would you wanted to try it when you know that there is a potential it can give you a large reward or it can take large risk as well guys this is like in a market where anything is possible so do not try to attempt that no 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 like in uh, 320 has been given i will go and take it nothing is going to be guaranteed in this world right 
even a human who lives today you will not be knowing whether you will be able to wake up tomorrow if you are waking up we needed to be thanking god that we got another day to live in our life and then move on so think on those lines never think that everything is going to be 100% nothing is 100% in this world please understand the risk before taking it don't try to put your large capital on 320 or the morning trade and then risk your money when you are taking the morning trades as well i'll keep again suggesting you always remember when the morning trades are suggested if the signal range is this only when it is available when it is opening up in this range i will be able to play if it is opening lower then it is not working out if it is opening higher that means it has already like an achieved the target so unless and until if the morning trade signal is available between this range i don't need to take a trade if it is opening up quickly and then moving it higher no way you will be able to do it and moreover all these are scalping trades for the morning people who are looking for opening trade this is only for opening that doesn't mean you need to hold this trade for the whole day okay these are scalping trade that is valid between 915 to 930 nothing beyond that i wouldn't even like and look at this i would start looking at the data for me to take a trade beyond that particular time frame that's a way i would be treating the 320 uh, sorry the morning trade and one more thing on the 320 if sra is a pe and in the morning if you are getting the morning trade in the ce don't try to average your pe trade yesterday which you bought it because the things would have changed overnight and things would have been like in totally different that's the reason we are getting in like in a morning trade in the ce side so i wouldn't be like in giving too much of importance to 320 unless and until my stop loss is not getting broken i will hold it but if it is getting like an almost touch then i have no other choice other than to exit that position that's the way i would treat that one and looking at this uh, futures data you can clearly see except after the morning long build up which happened due to like in the open and high afterwards we never saw any kind of a major long build up everything has been long unwinding or like in a short build up happening and towards the late end that was like in a uh, after market close it was like in a little bit of a short covering that was adjusted close so don't give too much of importance to that but overall the futures data is suggesting it has been a weak market and moving on here guys yes the morning trades can be trade sorry the 320 can be trailed imagine you are buy buying it at 4 400 odd range it is opening at around 550 then keep your stop loss at like in trailing stop loss at 500 and then trail it if it comes and hits it hits otherwise you can keep like in a 50 rupee stop loss and then trail it if it is opening only with like in a 50 point gap up then keep like in 20 point as you are like in a stop loss so you can always trail it if you think that the market can reward you much more but don't try to trail it imagine if you have bought it at 400 and it is opening at 420 and if you are keeping your trailing stop loss at 380 that doesn't make sense already it has given you like a 20 rupee profit and if you are going to be keeping your stop loss in a loss no one can help you okay keep that in mind yesterday the market moved on both the sides and this is the data until like in 1130 it was at least giving some hope for the longs but afterwards you can clearly see the short covering started to emerge big time on the put side when i say short covering all the put away data look at this the uh, 62 lakh 64 lakh it has come down and closed at almost 4 lakh how did it close at 4 lakh the reason is the 38000 if you look at it almost a 10 lakh quantity got unwinded between 1430 to 1530 that is like in 230 to 330 not only that if you look at all the strikes 38 100 38 200 everywhere you can clearly see these guys have been unwinding their position left right and center okay so the unwinding has been like in the short covering has been pretty big on the other hand i also saw the sorry the short build up slowly but steadily picking it up okay look at 38500 that is the next nearest strike in case if the market wanted to scale up today we should have been seeing like in some kind of a long build up happening in the otm strike which is not the case in the long build up you are clearly seeing the long unwinding happening between 130 to 230 and 230 to 330 so all these like in the 50 rupees you can expect it to go down to zero unless there is some massive announcement coming in from any source based information or anything coming up from the cabinet or anything okay other than that i see like a lot of long unwinding short build up happening here and both like an fis and dis were like in the selling in the cash market yesterday and the short covering on the put side is also going to be making the things worse and more importantly 
you can clearly see where is that mm. the short covering is leading all the way up to like an 37 500 here today that doesn't mean we are going to be going there all the way but we would be definitely be keen uh, keeping a close eye on where the market is positioning itself so if i were you if as of now it looks more of like an a sell on rise market why i say sell on rise market if you look at the e e expiry day data okay one sec okay this is the expiry day data so i was looking at from 37800 to like in 38500 look at 37800 the shots are building up not much the longs are building up not much but it didn't close it at the day side which i would have preferred it to close in case of the put side like and if you wanted a premium you should have got that like and close at the high, like an high point of the day which didn't happen which is also suggesting me either the move can be on the downward or it can be a sideways move with premium erosion being the order of the day okay so be careful there is an every possibility that the premiums can melt on both the sides the market can like and just keep it in a particular range and not giving you any kind of a major move today. So that is also a huge possibility with this market. 38,000, this is going to be the significant one for me. Look at this, the OI built up from 195 to 1166. From 470, the price has fallen and closed almost at the day's low, which is a perfect, perfect example for me that the shorts are adding up more position at these levels. That's a good find. Okay, so 38K, which is looking very weak. Shots have built up in the last three days and the prices have been falling. There was an open and high on eight, uh, 16th on 829. So now it is a distant reality because if they needed to like and make this hit, the market has to rally 800 points today for it to get this 829 hit, which I don't think it is going to be a possibility. So it is looking more or like, like in a sell on rise market at this current juncture and what I would love to see is anything above this 294, which was the high created for this series on 38K. If they are breaking that, then probably more and more shots will be trying to cover their position on this one. Okay, so watch out for this level of 294 on 38,000 foot as well. Okay, moving on 38,100. Guys, look at this. All the 38,100, 38,200, everywhere you are seeing a massive, massive shot buildup, which is huge. That is the reason I'm suggesting you that that can be like in a significant fall. If it, the fall is opening with a large gap down in the opening itself, then it is going to be a problem. If the market is opening flat or in the positive territory, you can expect one round of sell off to be happening today, which is going to be very visible looking at this data. And one more thing on the Nifty, I was looking at the similar kind of a data. Look at 18,000 now. You can clearly see 18,000 from 87 rupees, it has fallen to 22 with a 74% drop in price and 95% increase in OI, which is significant for today's expiry. The riders are going to be defending 18K like a crazy. Okay, they have been creating massive positions in the last two days. The reason is from 187, you can clearly see the price on 187, 16 lakh OI, including the short covering and everything. They piled up the pressure yesterday from 187 fell to 87 and you can clearly see it has fallen uh, sorry the increase has been from 16 lakh to 32 87 to 22 and it has increased so anyone who has written aggressively this kind of a volume he wouldn't be liking it to go above that level so he will defend it how much ever you want so 18k is going to be like in a big barrier for the day on the nifty in case of these guys are trying to inch up higher every move towards the 18k you will see these guys like i'm trying to do and sell off on the other hand from 40 lakh it has come down to 29 and now 19 the shots have started to cover from 34 which was made on 15th uh, november now it is trading at 115 though it is not closing it at the day's eye but still nifty is looking a lot more lucrative compared to bank nifty in terms of rewarding you today okay why i say that you are also seeing some kind of a long buildup emerging on 17,950, 17,900 put which is good and on the 17,900, you can clearly see from 762 it has increased to 31 lakh and the prices has been falling from 266 to 150 to 59 which is pretty significant for me and the shots are adding more and more and more position 
So how many of you are thinking about like an, uh, like an, what to say, build up on the long side? Guys, the people who are like an, okay, so people who wanted to avail the go annual like an uh, plan, please use this code, come back 20 as the promo code. Okay, we may not be able to have the Diwali discount, but this one we can give you a 20% discount. Okay, so now, so watch out for some 18,000 and 17,950, uh, like in the 900, these are the two levels wherein I see like a significant short buildup happening. Looking at this 17,900 between 230 and 330, that is almost like a 14 lakh quantity got added, which is way, way too high for me. Okay, let's see whether the market has opened and I'll just get you the live data as well. So looking at the current scenario, the market is trying to inch up and like an open lower, like in a flat territory. And the Sensex is as of now suggesting you, I'll be opening up in the green. So any move towards SRA's I and other things, it will be like in a one golden opportunity to sell. But the only problem is today, don't try to like and uh, uh, be like in taking your positions every uh, like and uh, what to say. The re reason why you should not be like an averaging it pretty quickly is the range is going to be pretty large. When I say the range is pretty large, from thirty eight thousand to thirty eight five hundred, five hundred point range is going to be something which you needed to think about playing. I know this is going to be the difficult day. Why? When you are having a large range, it will not be easy for you to average your position when the things goes against you. Okay, if it is going to be like an 100 point range where you're going to be getting a resistance and other thing, that's a different ball game. So the first round of a resistance is going to be somewhere around 38,450. The next one is somewhere around 38,300. And then the final one around like in 38,550. If these three levels are taken out, then it is going to be like a level wherein market can expect to bounce back and then like and move higher. But you will definitely see these guys are not going to be letting any kind of an effort to make that move pretty quick. So you will see these guys like in putting up some pressure, try to sell off whatever that is possible from their end and looking at the current, like in the, like in what to say, what things are happening across the globe. Yesterday, if you have seen the Dow has closed almost like in 200 points, it was like an, at least the NASDAQ was trading in the positive territory till late uh, in the night, but it also closed in the negative. And looking at the Asian picture, Nikkei has fallen 260 and Hang Seng has fallen more than 150, uh, like in order to say 1.5%, uh, 380 points, and almost all the indices are giving you a weak, bleak picture. Our market was already falling, okay, in spite of whatever the things which were happening. So today, yes, it is going to be like in a more pain for them. But what is the good news here? Yes, the dollar index has been like in the bad one. The dollar index is almost heading towards that 96 mark. But the Brent and the crude has been like and falling and it has fallen from almost 85 odd dollars to now almost 79 and 76, which is a good news. As an 80% crude import country, we are going to be like and taking that as like in a positive cue. But will it help when the entire things are happening, uh, not because of like in positivity or like an imagine? If the crude fall is happening on various other reasons, that would have been different thing. Now the concern is, Again, that is going to be like an, uh, I would say, uh, a growth concern. The growth is not going to be there. And the people are like an expecting, again, there is going to be another round of COVID and other things. So all these are suggesting that there is a possibility that this can also be a problem area. 
It's looking at the derivatives data, participant wise why data. I don't see any kind of an, I would say bullishness. I only see a bearishness plus the writing can be happening big time. Okay, I don't expect it to be like in a completely bull market. I'm not expecting it to be a completely bear market considering the way we have been falling. But we can be like in having a bearish view with every rise getting to sold off considering the way the FIs have been like in positioning themselves. So looking at this data, so what do you see in the last 10, 15 days? More of green bars or red bars? More of red bars. When I see more of red bars, that is clearly indicating that Every rise has been used as an opportunity to sell and like in looking at the RSA levels and other things, it is a perfect setup for them to like and take this market lower and lower. Probably somewhere around the RSA 30, you may expect some kind of a minor bounce, but at the current juncture, it looks more of a possibility of the market trying to fall. The same scenario here on the Nifty as well. You see like a more of red bars than the green bars in the last 10, 15 days. That's clearly suggesting these guys are using every opportunity to sell. Now, market has come into the negative territory, but it is flat again. Will they be able to showcase something to keep the market higher? Guys, I'm not on mute. Guys, this data is little bit delayed considering NSE has been uh, NSE has instructed them not to provide the real time data, but you are all we are, we are working out to get the real time data. Thirty five eight thirty six is the level here, and we are getting the same thirty five eight thirty six. Okay, so it is almost an uh, like an almost the same kind of a level. Okay, now that like in the market would have settled. Okay, back Nifty is opening flat. Nifty is opening flat. And which are the guys who are like in making an impact? Access Bank is 0.37 up. HDFC is down. HDFC Bank is also down. And ICSA is 0.47 up. SBI is 0.19 up. So it looks like all the corporate banks, the three corporate banks, SBI, Access, and then the ICSA all are in green. Kotak and uh, HDFC, the retail banks are in the red. Okay, so will they be able to take it higher? That's something which we needed to see it. But looking at this, the spot is opening almost 30, 40 points higher. So if there is an opportunity, if the market is trying to inch up, I will definitely try to use that opportunity to sell it. If there is a, like in a 200, 300 point move, I will use it to sell it. Okay, so today you might be having the Paytm listing at 10 o'clock. We'll see how it goes. And then the market participants might be getting some clues as well. Guys, yesterday there was some issue which happened with the data providers between 11.30 to 12.10. That's the reason you would have seen the entire data compiled and then shown it at 12.15, nothing else. So. It was an universal issue, NSE had a glitch, and I believe like and most of the brokers went down and some of the data providers also went down where we are not able to get the data to showcase it on OIPAS. That was the issue yesterday, it happened. Now the pre-market. So if you're looking for the pre-market open at around like a 9899, you should be able to get the data here. So the Nifty Bank is opening up in the green territory. Nifty is opening in red. And these are the ones which are opening up in the green, which is uh, like in BSOF, the VDL and LTDS, Britannia, now Pfizer and the GMR Infra. On the negative aspect, it is mostly Bosch, Ipka, Davies and the GSPL, Petronet, PND and Atul. So which are the ones in Nifty Private Bank? It is in the green. And the Nifty Pharma, Reality, IT, everybody is in the red today. Okay, this is on the pre-market. So where exactly my morning trades are showing up? Morning trades, which will be showing up at around 9, 11. 
We have another minute to see the data. Yes, a Paytm can have an impact in terms of uh, what is the uh, if there is a like an a, like a not much of a demand for Paytm, then probably yes, it can have an impact. But I'm not expecting like in a fifty percent discount. Maybe around like in a five ten percent fall. I'm not expecting like in a fifty percent fall at this juncture. Yes, it is one of the largest listings, so there will be like an, a huge liquidity which would be like in getting into it. So we will see how they are going to be doing it. But uh, there, I'm not expecting it to be like in that bad. In case considering the way Nike and others are like in, uh, doing it. Okay, so now the morning trades have come in. Okay, it is suggesting it on the put side. So the range is somewhere around 38, 100, 181 to 281. And sorry, the Nifty is 18,000 at 72 to 172. So this is a range at which in case if the market is opening, we can think about that. Okay, this is on the morning trade. Guys, these are the pre-market open rates which we are seeing. Okay, so the rates at which we are seeing it is all pre-market, like in wherein you can clearly see 44 crores have been traded on the cash market, but these are all very very low volume. So don't go completely by the pre-market if it is like in giving you a hundred point uptick. Don't think that like a normal market is going to be like an upbeat and then like in moving higher. But I would definitely wait for the actual market to open at 9:15. Sometimes the pre-market open rates. It will be just to manipulate the data. Sometimes why I say that is you will see the large banks like an HDFC or Kotec or like an Axis. These guys would be like an bought at the pre-market one to two percent. But when the actual market opens, you will see a significant fall happening and then automatically the index also crashing. So don't blindly go by the pre-market rates and think that it is going to be the one which is going to be giving you the reward. So in the morning, these are the strikes which are added for both Nifty and the Bank Nifty. 37,700 to 38,500 and 37,700 PE to 38,600. So this is the range wherein I'm expecting it to be there. If someone who's playing it deep in the money in the morning makes sense. The reason is if you're looking at the premiums here, I'll just show you the premium. So we are not seeing much of premium on 38,400, 31 rupee premium, 38,500, one like in hardly anything, 38,600. And 38,300, we have a premium of 50, whereas on the call side, we have a huge premium. Those premiums will be like in trying to be getting adjusted in the morning. So watch out for that. So any move quickly, you will be seeing these guys like in uh, pulling it down at least once. There's the pre-marketers like in, uh, for the HNIs and large institutional investors, there's, those are the guys who will be trading in the pre-market, not for like in the uh, retail community. There's a strike to look out is 38,300 and 38,200. Don't go anything lower than that because uh, like in uh, what to say, uh, in the morning, usually the premiums are going to be like a little high. They will be trying to do the adjustment and you will be getting caught. And moreover, if you're buying something, try to average your positions every 50 or 100 rupees. The reason is the range is going to be pretty large. Okay, range is going to be pretty large today. And keep a close eye on the open and high today because that has a huge potential for it to like in reverse. In case if there is like in several strikes, which is going to be having an open and eye on the call side, that can be a possibility similar to yesterday. We may make a move once again on the upside before making a like in a wild move on the downside or whatever that is there. And looking at the Dow futures, have a close tab on that as one as well. As of now, it is trading at 40 points in the negative. And look at that bar, which is crazy. So will there be like in a move, which is crazy moves happening? Already like in whatever the move which you're seeing it, they're just making it count. Will they be able to make it? 
there is a huge recovery. Look at that candle there. So all the open and high on the call side, it is just like I'm making it into a big green bar. Look at that move. Let them go higher. This is like in a crazy, crazy up move which has been happening. Yes, we needed a strong, strong move to be happening on the upside before they make the next move on the downside. Let's see whether they are going to be doing that. Most important thing is this is just a first candle. Avoid it, wait for it. Now look at the open and high. All these are like an open and high, little way far off. All are like a more or less like an, what to say, OTM strikes today. So open and high is not going to be the candidate today. They are just going to be like a making a move based on whatever the people who have been taking the position in the morning. They are just going to be playing for that. Are they going to be doing that today? Guys, as I told you, watch out for this level. This is the area wherein they can get you a reversal. Will they be able to go, go towards that zone? Watch out for that zone. 38,500 is the zone for me. Let's wait for the 38,500. That's the area. In case if they're going there, like a huge opportunity for us to short it. Are they going to be making that move towards the zone? Watch out. So Nifty is trying to inch up. Guys, watch out for this zone. This is a zone wherein I'm just looking for it in case if there is going to be like in a small bit of a reversal if it is happening. And almost all the banks are into green territory now. This is interesting. The way they are opening up from the lower level, it is pretty, pretty interesting now. Will there be like in a big bar heading towards a down end or an up end? Guys, trust me, avoid the opening trades today as much as possible because this is not an ideal market wherein it can give you a reward because both the sides, they are not doing anything at this juncture after this initial open up. They're just going to be bringing down the premiums on both the sides. That's exactly been the game plan now. So looking at the current scenario, the people who would have been like in shorting this, they would be into a trap. That's exactly that they are trying to do it. Let's see whether they are going to be doing a trap. Once they clear this level, this is going to be my level. If they are able to successfully clear it, then yes, we can always look at taking a long trade also if they are going to be like in pumping in some large funds. That's the area. So the Dow Jones futures is still trading in the negative, but our market is absolutely like in moving it in the opposite direction with a big volume, right? So now you would have understood why it is going to be very important for you to be very careful with this market. Can they head higher? Can they head towards the zone? Because this is clearly for me a no trade zone. It can all the way go up to like 17,900 on this one and the bank nifty almost at 38,300. Another 50, 60 points. From there, in case if they are making a move, then it'll be interesting. But look at the opening candle low. 
it is almost 37,920. So they literally went to the lower end, almost hitting that level, but they were not able to like and take that level out. And then they are quickly moving it higher and higher. Guys, I would sincerely say it is this level which has to be broken because it has been coming with the volumes as well. It's not as if like, and it is not coming up from the lower level. They have been pushing up some volumes. Will they be able to put on some more pressure on that? HDFC in green, ICC in green, and Kotakan access in the red, and SBI is still in the green of 1%. SBI has been the one in the last few days. It's been making all the right noises, right? So watch out for that. There's all we need is just like in a one good trade on a day like this. So let's see whether that is going to be available to us. And today would be the day to test all your patients and everything. More we are going to be waiting, more the opportunities are going to be coming in today. I'll just show you the data for you. Okay, so open and high on 39,100 and other things. These are like in, like in a distant dream for it to happen on the Nifty. Okay, so these guys have been hit. There is nothing much today on the open and high. So I'm going to be ignoring the open and high today. So it looks to be more of a day wherein they're just going to be making a move on both the sides. Let's see. Okay, so already the first move is happening on the bullish aspect. Interesting. So is the Paytm money that has been released, everything is coming into the cash market and this market. Let's see whether that is going to be an opportunity because looking at the way the longs have been building up their position, this is looking like an ominous sign in the morning itself because three consecutive bars with volume coming in. Will they be able to take this level out with the volume? That's something which I want you to keenly, keenly look for today. Yes, that's the level which I wanted it to, like, and now what to say, clear it pretty, pretty comfortably. Let's see whether they are going to be doing that 38, 300. Can they clear that level? Trust me, usually when you are having these kind of candles, they will normally like and try to go and moreover, this low has been like an achieved on the nifty. Yes, they have made that low. I think looking at this candle, this is like a more or less the candle for them to complete their task, whatever the open and low, which was done, they just wanted to go and hit that number and then come back. That's clearly visible. Guys, today is not an ideal day because with the kind of volatility that is not happening here, I would sincerely say wait for it. You will definitely get some good opportunities after 10 o'clock because 
when the market is going in a reverse direction and usually they are trying to like and trap the people who would have been like and holding on the position yesterday there's more or less like an a trap for the people who have been like and holding on the position in case if they would not have exited it so in that scenario you're not going to win anything so please 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 don't try to be in a position now the only trade which can be possible is breaking these two levels which is going to be the vwap and the super trend if they are able to break that level pretty quick then yes you will see these guys like and making a massive move i wanted to see whether they are able to do that can there be a huge profit booking coming in or they are just going to be keeping it like this for some time now let's look at the options premium for you still the call side premiums are higher but not a massive one so the premiums have been adjusted okay that's a good sign the premiums have been adjusted the only thing which is pending now is they needed to make a quick move will they be able to do it or it is going to be more or less a day wherein they're just going to be keeping it in this range guys if they're going to be keeping it in this range then that's it the whole day they will be like and not giving you much of opportunities and they will make a sudden move towards a late end it is going to be that kind of a day then to me it looks to be more or less a writers day at this juncture with odd moves here and there maybe around like 100 200 points coming in with the initial signs i wanted to see whether they are just going to be going below this vwap at least once and when they are going below the vwap watch out for the volume these are like a morning moves and everything it is better to wait and watch today trust me the real move might be happening after like at 10 o'clock guys there is no hurry for you to take like in a strangle trade at this juncture because anything can be possible it's better to wait till 10 10:30 once the move is happening on a particular direction then it makes sense for you to like and just like and join join on that particular wagon because looking at this scenario anything is possible in this market they needed to break that level without breaking that level it's not going to be easy guys they have to be breaking the vwap at the super trend no point now can they move there looking at that yes there is a possibility now can they do it they just needed to break it with a large volume
Guys, this is crazy stuff. Guys, trust me, this is like a crazy move which is happening. Guys, don't try to go for like an aggressive positioning with the way kind of like a move which has been happening. You can also expect a equal reversal. This is market that, that is going to be like in doing all those the work there. What a way to trap the people here. What a way to trap the people. Anybody who would have felt that this market is going to be like a moving it higher, they would have completely like a thrashed by this time. Guys, once they are breaking this, there is a gap as well. Be careful. The gap is pretty, pretty huge and a large one. What is the gap here? 38, 163, 38, 153. Guys, usually the gap between the three minute candles, usually they get closed. Okay, so that's a reason you needed to be really careful. There can be like an, an uh, equal and a strong bounce, which is possible. This is absolutely a terrific stuff, what you're witnessing now. Okay, this is crazy to the core in terms of the moves which you are able to see it here. <laughs> this is the kind of volatility which I was talking about. Unless and until you are able to handle this kind of volatility, do not even bother to be there in this market. This is absolutely like a uh, ridiculous stuff. Guys, I just entered into a trade and then exited it, but this is like a very, very difficult for you to manage in case if you want it to be. Guys, as I told you, there is a possibility that gap can also be closed. So watch out for that. This is the gap which I was referring to, the two three-minute candles. So in case if they are closing it, then probably, yes, you may get to see another move. What the volatility did like crazy, right? Opening itself like and they have given you all the moves what you wanted it, but it is going to be like in a tough one. Tough one for people who are unable to like and make quick moves. It's going to be very, very tough to do it. Yes, this is my opening, like and what I say, whatever the trades which I was holding at. This was the one. So on the way up, like an almost at uh, 60K made around this, 289 to 297 once the fall is happening. But ideally, be careful. This is getting into like in a very, very crazy moves at this juncture. Don't try to be over aggressive at this juncture. I would sincerely say avoid it because this is like in too much of volatility even for some experience handles like in to handle. Trust me, this is not going to be an easy one. Guys, it's purely because of like, and what to say, 3300 I told you I will be going deep in the money. 
and moreover like and when the market is trading at 38000 the most important thing is go for deep in the money that makes sense so this is my orders so 916 to 930 bought it at around like a 250 but it's quite of some position at on the way it was trailed it and it got hit 303 303 and then like an 310 was some of the positions which we got closed it there but trust me these are like a most risky elements but we went with the yesterday's data but if it is going i would have lost around like a 2 2.5 but i can understand because that was like in my yesterday's profit which i'm ready to lose it but on the way up when it is quickly in your favor try to trail it because sometimes the trailing can also be like in making a quick move because usually when you are having in 60 70 rupee move it can have a quick impact on the downside as well because this gap was the one which was like in bothering me even here now you can look at it there is another gap getting created usually these gaps will get like in close in the next one or two candles that's a reason it is very important for you to trail it don't leave open position because there is every possibility that gap can be like in close pretty soon guys we are trading in the pe because the data and everything was suggesting the pe and the data now it is also like in making sure that yes it is into the pe trade but now look at this this is what i don't want the oi on both the call and the put is around like in 40 43 and 44 this is where you will lose it when i say lose it as a writer what they will try to do is they will try to adjust the premiums on both the sides now morning they would have trapped the people on the call side now they would have trapped the people on the put side both the sides the people would have been getting trapped so if i am going to be making a single side move then these guys are going to be getting trapped and moreover till this like in a gap getting filled don't try to be in an aggressive trade because can you see this gap usually the intraday gap on 3 minute time frame normally get closed okay normally get closed and i am expecting this to also to get close 99% usually what i have witnessed in the past is that gap getting closed let it come towards the zone of like in the vwap around 38164 or like in 38263 that is the super trend range probably yes we may get to see some kind of an entry available but now fresh entries be careful yes the ivs are going to be like in sideways on expiry date normally i don't look at much of ivs because anyway the iv values are going to be not making much sense on an expiry day but looking at this gap this is what is bothering me now in case if i wanted to take a down trade and moreover the line which i have drawn 38055 watch out for this it has taken a support perfect support and then moving at higher let them pull it back once again below this level so all the banks which were like and leading everybody has fallen except the hdfc and the sbi these two guys are still holding up and are we going to be closing that gap which i was expecting it to be done in this candle or the next candle if they are able to close that gap that will be wonderful news for me the gap we wanted is 38163 all we wanted is 38163 it is almost heading there is the gap getting closed is it done done right now you would have understood why i was telling you not to be holding the pe in case if you are because this market is absolutely in a dicey mood to like and trap the people on either side look at that candle once again <laughs> guys this is the most difficult market to trade i'm telling you honestly trust me if you guys are like and making money in this market you needed to be really thanking yourself because this is ideally not a market which is going to be very easy to take a trade so are they like and considering that they have closed a gap and other things are they going to be coming down or are they going to be making a move again on the upside watch out
Now, whoever has taken that put trade here, thinking that the market is falling, they would have been completely trapped left, right, and center. Don't even bother. Guys, there is no theory for the like in a gap filling for this. Usually, what happens is when someone is buying and selling it, they like and when they are positioning themselves or like and when they are funding in large quantities, usually those things get skipped. Okay, so because the next order that is going to be available when they are moving the market on the indexes, you will be seeing the market moving pretty high, pretty quick. Then that gap always gets created. Okay, it is all about filling your like an orders. When the orders are like an at higher level, naturally the market is going to be moving higher and then like an or like an moving lower. Usually what they do is whatever the price that was like an uh, trading at that level, they try to go and punch in an order to trigger that price. That usually happens. That's the reason I was expecting that gap filling to be done. And usually, based on my experience, what I have seen is if it is a three minute, like in the any gap which is getting formed in three minute or five minute, and that gap will usually get closed in the next fifteen minutes or so. Usually, you will get to see in the next two three candles itself the like in the gap getting filled. In case if it is not, watch out for like in a quick uh, what to say fifteen uh, twenty minutes, you will see those gaps getting filled pretty fast. Now that the gap and everything is filled, second time support as well coming in, will the Bank Nifty be able to scale it up higher? That's something which I want you to watch out. How many of you were able to survive this volatility in getting in and getting it out? Okay, some have made big, some have lost big. Hmm. The VIX, in fact, it has been falling. <laughs> yes, this market is again, I'm telling you, not for small players. This is absolutely a brutal market. If you are thinking about taking a trade and other things, you needed to definitely wait for the morning signals. If the Paytm is like and listing it at like an a two percent, sorry, fifty percent discount, that that's absolutely not going to be a good news, guys. I'm telling you, because they had a huge, huge expectation on Paytm IPO, and if there is anything to go by, that's not going to be a good news. And this IPO season has been one of the craziest one, even like an, uh, what to say, much crazier than the one which we were having it at uh, 2008 and 9. <laughs> Absolutely not a market to trade. Guys, better to wait and watch. If you are a newbie, please, please, please stay light. I'm telling you. Guys, this is something very unusual, which I've been seeing it. When I say the VIX heading towards like in, uh, what I say, 14.77 with the market falling and other things, which is clearly indicating to me something unusual is happening in the market. You can get these kind of wild moves. Look at this opening bar. The low was 38.08. And then the high is somewhere around 38,294. No, one sec. This one. 37,920 to 38,242. Almost 300, 320 point move, which has been pretty, pretty big. 
Okay, let me see if I can add Paytm to see how the move is happening on Paytm. It's not a 50% discount. As of now, it is showing me only a 9% fall from the IPO levels. So the IPO level was 2150 and it is trying to list at 1950. The real listing will be coming in at 10 a.m. So this is like in a pre-market listing, which is at 1950 with like in buyers placing their orders at 19. That's the reason I told you like, and I'm not expecting a 50% fall. I was expecting 10 to 20%, but that's okay. This is not a bad one. I wouldn't say this is too bad. Lakshman, I think whatever the price which you are seeing, those are all like in a wrong one because those are not the real traded element. The real traded element which will be showing you after 9.30, 9.40 on an uh, like in listing day. So let's quickly look at the data now. Short build up. Okay, so still it is a bullish sign with like an I like an what to say open interest still on the call side is much lower compared to the put side. This is for the bank nifty on the nifty. It is looking bearish on the nifty. Wow. I want this, I want this to be there. Guys, both the sides, you are not getting a clear clue. So wait it out. Both the sides, the shots have been the ones who have been piling up the pressure. So on the nifty. Okay, put build up is happening, but I think I would need it to wait till 10, 10.30. Guys, in case if you wanted this like in a ticker on the top and then you wanted to do this, go to the favorite selection here. Here you can choose whether you wanted a light theme or a dark theme. You can choose whether you wanted the left side or a top side menu. When you are seeing a left side, you can use open, open or like in compact sidebar. You want the running ticker or don't show the running ticker. You can choose this and you can also choose the time interval which you wanted to see on all these pages, connecting dot the future, the option and strategy, and then save your favorite selection. It'll open up in a new tab as in when you wanted to do it. That's the way it needs to be done. Guys, watch for our videos which we have posted it in our YouTube. Like in every page, we have given the YouTube link here. Click on the YouTube link and also I have shared you the QR codes. We have given you sufficient like in the videos for you to go and look at it. Like in whatever the like in the strategies or like in what are the things which we have used to decode it, the how to use OI Pearls advanced chart, or you can use this video where it is the decoding session. The next platform video is here, how we have used the future OI analysis. And this video is going to be giving you a complete insight about the OI Pulse decoding, how we have done it. And as and when we are adding new features, we had like in 3.20 in the morning trade, we have given you here. Go through these videos. It will help you all a lot. And more importantly, you can use this user manual, which is available under the user profile. Click on this, download the user manual. Open them, 
We have like in close to 300, 250, 300 pages. Each and every feature has been Alec and I explained it here. So go through in detail. We have given some examples as well, how you needed to decode, how you needed to look at the data with live examples as well. And especially someone who's looking for the open and high next week, we are having the session. Try to go through this document when you come for the session so that it helps you a lot. Okay, so the open and high is available on page number 222. You can go through that and then come for this session. Okay, so here we have given the concept and how it is working and everything. So it will help you a lot. Guys, yes, our team are working on it to add the latest uh, things also. Like, and anyway, in the meantime, I've done the videos for those, uh, like, in uh, features, whatever that your guys are looking at. And I will show you the option premium and OI statistics at this juncture. The OI options premium that's left is, okay, it is even Stevens now. 137, 133, 150, 147. So it is clearly both the sides. They are only writing the premiums. You can clearly see that. Even in the options front, all the premiums on both call and put from yesterday's level. If you have been holding an overnight position, you would not be getting anything. So which is a clear sign that it is as of now, writer's market with both the sides, the premiums are getting eroded thick and fast. So best thing is for you on a day like this is to wait for the signals. When I say wait for the signals, yesterday you got like a few signals, both on the call and the put side. All have been like in a little rewarding one, except like in a couple of them, if you'd have entered on this one, it would have given you a reward. And these signals has been in reward all one, two, three, four. And this one, yes, this would have been an exit point. But in the second half, it was like in a complete disaster. The market was moving everywhere and not giving you any major moves. On the Nifty yesterday, yes, there were one or two signals, but nothing beyond that. And that is fine. And you got the move as well. So today, I would definitely wait for the signal to be appearing for me. Yes, today I'm not expecting any major upside or downside at this juncture based on the trending OI data. So this is for Nifty at least looking bearish, but Bank Nifty is still looking bullish. So that is clearly suggesting me Shiva, be careful. Don't try to go for aggressive shots. Now, uh, even you can see it, every time they've gone to the lower level, they have been like and trying to bounce off from that level. And HDFC and ICHA, two big banks, which is having the maximum weightage in the index, both are trying to say that like and we can go in the positive territory. So be careful. And trending Y is also suggesting at this juncture, a bullish nature. It's not a completely bearish one. So if you're thinking to be bearish on this market, please try to be staying light at this juncture. Why? When you're having 50 and 50 or 60 and 60, when you're having an equal amount of open interest getting built up, what you will normally see is only the premium erosion happening on that particular day. As of now, that is very evident, right? The, uh, like in the premiums are the ones which is getting eroded on both the call and the put side. There is no major move is happening. You needed a clear trending move, but on the nifty at least, we are getting to see some kind of a negativity which has been like and peeping in and that's the reason the negative P's are like and trading big. Like and look at this, 97 to 50. So now even here, both the sides are open interest of building up, but on the call side, the open interest is much bigger. When the open interest is much bigger, when the market is falling, that is clearly suggesting the riders are trying to add more and more position. But they are not doing the same thing with the Bank Nifty. So clearly the market is in a divergent mode now. Bank Nifty is in bullish, Nifty is in bearish. Then that's not an ideal day for you to be aggressive. It's trending OA will be giving me a clear picture on where exactly the market is trying to position myself. Okay, along with that, if I wanted to look at, I will be looking at the future data. The future data of Bank Nifty future is suggesting me, Shiva, we are going for the long buildup today. But the price action is not interesting to me. Okay, the price action has been a little weak. It's not extremely aggressive. Whereas in the Nifty, it is a different scenario. Both the sides, the short buildup is happening. 
bank nifty both uh, like in uh, 915 to 930 932 like in 1030 long build up is happening on the option chain page which you can look at here you will get a clue where exactly the maximum trade is happening the max is, maximum trade is happening on the call side is around 38200 on the put side is 38000 so the range is pretty set the market is trading between these two like and levels either of these two levels needed to be broken for him to like and uh, go continuously on one particular direction which is currently not visible is there going to be another move on the upside and all these moves are happening with any, without any volumes guys okay, someone who is looking for this indicator and this dot and other things search for option scalping v2 in the trading view you should be able to add it just go to the option like in uh, what to say indicators search for option scalping v2 this will be the one if you are able to add this you should be able to see the table on yours how many of you are attending this session for the first time wow that's a plenty so guys many of you tried the oi pulse like in the trial version for a week so how did you guys like and find it was it useful was it like in something which you already have some of these features are pretty unique to only to oi pulse so how did you find the features whatever that we have been witnessing on oi pulse great 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 to see that it's amazing like okay, okay market move is very useful very useful okay great edge okay taken at an annual subscription the great and quite unique something useful okay so i need a discount okay you're pretty good you're on a good call at least to save your money good tool okay so a little bit okay guys for the new users it will take some time but trust me once you are getting used to it then you will definitely be able to like and uh, make a lot of money some of you have like and recovered okay any plan to introduce commodity no commodity we will take some time okay great videos lot many features guys there are like and plenty of features which you needed to take some time because in a day or two it is going to be very difficult if you are looking at the market mover feature this is like an, an amazing addition for the people who are looking for what to say uh, intraday needs or like in positional setup and other things look at this particular page whenever you see the breakout okay minimum breakout days if the breakout day is about eight days always what we have seen is those particular stocks has been very good for positional trades but you needed to look at the rsi and other levels whether it is in overbought territory or oversold territory in case if it is a eight day low but trust me these have been giving like a massive result for the people who have been like and trying to do it look at this srf it is making a new high and it will be continue to make new high here the one stock which is going to be weak today for me is going to be gspl watch out this as of now it has fallen like in close to 3% 6 day low so if it making a late day low similar to aro pharma then it can continuously like and keep falling in the upcoming days as well so something which you needed to be looking at so eight day low and eight day high which has been giving us uh, like an a good moves and here you will be able to see the real time like an uh, like an a rate and also whether it is breaking a eight day or like a three day or one day low where exactly it is having a breakout okay whether it is breaking down or breaking high you should be able to see it and based on that you should be able to take a trading decision as well this has been used by several like in participants who wanted to trade on intraday who are not trading in the fno segment they are using it and most importantly when you wanted to see a particular stock you can just click on the chart and you will be able to see the chart structure with our like in default indicators whether it is taking a support or whether it is moving higher lower whether it is on over volume or like in what is the open interest on that one on the trading view chart you should be able to see that data as well real time okay so this particular market mover feature will give you a guidance on that and when you are using the chart okay when you are using the chart you can also use for the index the trade history show trade history will give you a guidance on 
whether a transaction is happening on the buy side or on the sell side, that can also be easily identified. Whenever you see that there is a massive buy happening with the volume and other things, if you wanted to see the trade history, the trade history is readily available. All the trades, whatever that has been happening in index futures or index options or like in FNO stocks, you should be able to see them real time. Okay, so all this data is tick by tick, which you will be able to see the real time data. Okay, so with the kind of move which has been happening, Paytm is like in, uh, from almost the listing at 10 o'clock. Now it is trading at 1855. So the pre-market settle was like in 1950. Now after that, the price has been falling almost to 1825 now. Okay, so continuous falling has been happening in uh, like in, okay. So that is going to be putting up some pressure or sentimental impact on the market as well. But guys, like, and trust me, how many of you got Paytm allotment on the IPO? <laughs> Paytm would have been your first allotment wherein you would have got it like and subscribe. But unfortunately, when you are seeing that it is listing like in 20, 30% below your like in uh, listing price, then now obviously like and many of them would be getting disappointed. That's the way the Paytm listing is showing up. I think, yes, all who got it would have been the unlucky ones, I would say. Guys, this is a broker terminal. Like, and what you're witnessing is this is like an Ventura Securities is a broker terminal. Once you have the broker terminal, then you should be able to add the market watch, whatever the strikes which you wanted to, and you can see it. Yes, on day one, there is no lower circuit, right? It can also fall like in 40, 50%, 60%, 70% also. Okay, so whatever the move that's going to be happening, it's going to be very interesting today. But our market, the index has been like in uh, moving higher and lower with the small moves ranging here and there will they be able to do a move on either side Guys, someone who wanted to add the OSPL signal on the advanced chart, just go to the indicators field, go choose OSPL signal here, and you can add it. Once it is added, you will be able to see it, and then the signal will be like an appearing here as in when the trade, like in uh, there is an opportunity available, it will be appearing. Okay, and for the people who just like and wanted to make use of the promo code, guys, if you have missed the Diwali code, that was like, and we got almost like a 25, 28% discount. Currently that offer is closed. This is the only offer available. Please avail it before it goes again, because this particular offer, we may not be able to offer it all along. So go annual promo code, use comeback 20. How to use this? All you needed to do is just go into the plans page, click on go annual, apply this, come back 20, apply, you will get an instant discount and then you can purchase it. Okay, so the code is come back 20. There's all who have been like in, okay, enroll for it. Sorry, go through these documents, which is available on 
you the like in youtube you can watch all the videos especially i would recommend you all to go through the videos like the 320 strategy morning strategy and then the session which we have completed how to use the ospl in advanced chart and we also like and posted i believe uh, if you would have seen it our oi pulse telegram channel i'll just show you that Okay, if you joined our like an OI Pulse Advanced channel, what we have done is we have given you a, a, like an, a QR code, OI Pulse video QR, which is available. And also all the documents, you can download these documents, which we have posted it. It is also available on our, like an, I want to say, uh, Telegram main channel and also on the OI Pulse. So our OI Pulse channel is, I'll just like and give you that as well. Okay, you can use and join this one. So the fall is once again getting started. There's an important thing is now the bank nifty has to be falling and it has to be falling below this line wherein it can have a, like in a quick impact and fall further. But without that, it is going to be very difficult. If you've already been like in an annual member, then you all should be able to see all the features. Is all the features are available only for the annual plan members, not for the others. So I would be keenly looking for the next signal. And moreover, like many of you have been looking for the hero or hero zero strategy, right? Which we will be analyzing it in the afternoon today. Don't worry. Why statistics? Yes, OI statistics is going to be another beautiful feature in case if you are believing in the OI data, how they are like in trying to take a position. Today, if you'd have seen it, you just need to click on this show and change in OI. It will show you where exactly they are creating the maximum position. If you'd have seen this, in the morning, they are creating maximum positions on the put side at this juncture compared to the call side, which is suggesting that today they are not trying to create more positions on the call side at this juncture, but things can change up pretty, pretty quick. Okay, because overall texture, the overall like in the OI data, it is clearly suggesting they have created more positions on the call side compared to the put side. So. So the show, show and change in OI data is going to be giving you a clue. What is the data which is getting changed for today? Okay, this is going to be like in showing you the overall picture. If I wanted to know what is the change in OI data for today, this is going to be getting a clue from here. Okay, and one more thing, 
you can also look at the data for 60 minutes, 90 and like in 120, whatever the data which you wanted it, you should be able to see from like in 60 full day, 15 minutes, 30, 45 and 60. So here we are looking at the data for like in a 60 minute time frame, and you can also look at there is not much of a things happened. If you're looking at in the last 60 minutes, how much has been the data change which has been happening, you should be able to see this data here. This is for the full day. Guys, yes, we have given an interval wise OI data as well in case if you wanted to know where exactly the maximum OI change is happening today. Okay, like an in OI gainer 15 minutes, 60 and intraday. Here you can clearly see where exactly in the last 15 minutes where the maximum OI buildup is happening on 38,000, 182, uh, 38,200, 181. Short buildup, short buildup, short buildup. Again, this one is a long buildup at 37,500. And 38, 300, this is like in showing you clearly the writers are like in trying to take more positions on the call side and on the buyers are taking more positions on the put side here. So on an intraday basis, you can clearly see all the OTM strikes on the call side is having a long unwinding because these things would have been used as an hedge. And on the call side, look at this 38, 200, 38, PA, P, 38, 100, P, 38, 300, CE. So it looks to be more or less a range bound play at this juncture with a clear move is not getting visible as far as the OI data is concerned. Even the Bank Nifty is suggesting you that same thing, right? 63 lakh on the call side, 67 lakh on the put side. What I wanted to see on the trending OI data now, in case if the market is wanting to go up, now I wanted to see the call OI coming down drastically. When I say call OI coming down drastically, from 63 lakh, it has to come to 50, 40, and 30. On the other side, the put OI needed to increase from 67, it need to go to 80, 90, and one crore. So once that is happening, then I know that the market is going to be moving on the upside. If I wanted the market to move lower, then 63 has to go to one crore. This 67 has to come to 20, 10, and so on. So I would be keenly looking at this for the back Nifty queues and for the Nifty. What is that which you are already seeing it? The Nifty is clearly like in getting into the weak territory more than the Bank Nifty today. Okay, even like in look at this, it is not able to break. Whereas Nifty already is making a new low. Can you see that? Though the Nif Bank Nifty is not doing it, don't worry about this particular candle. This is a freak one. But if you are considering this is the low, we have been making a new low now. Okay, on the Nifty, it is clearly evident. The market is getting extremely, extremely weak and the morning data, whatever the EOD data, which we analyze, when we analyze the EOD data, which was clearly like an expiry strategy data, which I was sharing with all of you, it was also showing you that the market is getting into weak territory. How I needed to see that expiry data strategy, just click on that OI expiry strategy, change the strikes. What are the strikes which you wanted to see it? If I wanted to see from 17,700, okay. I'll just add this and remove the ones which I don't want to see it. What I was saying on 18,000 and 18,100, 17,900. For the three consecutive days, they have been building up the shots from 187, 87 to 22 to 4. So they are going to be defending this level. That's exactly which I told you in the morning. They have pretty much defended it. What they are doing is how they are defending it. Every day they are bringing down the price by more than 50% and they are increasing the OI by 50%. Something which we learned in the mentoring session, in case if you are like in part of the mentoring program, you would have learned that, right? Whatever the things which we would have been showing you there, I'll just show you. So we wanted this data to be there. 50% increase in OI and 50% decrease in price for us to be like and completely be a seller in that direction or try to create more short position. And has it not been happening? 18,000 CE, like in 16th November, it is 53% like in fall, 96% increase in OI. All I wanted is 50% increase in OI, 50% decrease in price, but I'm getting more than that. Now with this fall, Bank Nifty is trying to fall further now. It has broken that level 
with the large bar. Whenever they are trying to break these kind of levels with the volume, that is the area wherein you can expect a significant fall. Now, what did I say on the OI data? The trending OI, I wanted it to be falling, right? Look at this bank nifty now. What has happened here? What is the clue you're getting it now? It was around 63 and 64. Is it happening the same day what we have been expecting it? Now the call side OI is increasing, put side OI is falling. That means the covering is happening on the put side. The fall is getting deeper and now it is going to be putting up a lot more pressure. What is the Paytm doing now? I just wanted to see the Paytm once. Wow, 20% fall. It has been like a non-stop falling category. Wow, that's good. But the most important thing is, did we get the signal also on the like and one sec guys, too many indicators. Okay, so the Nifty has given a signal here and it has been continuously falling. So that's a good sign. Anyone who would have been taking a trade on the Nifty, you would have been definitely be getting rewarded. The signal came exactly at around Seventeen thousand eight twenty-three with a stop loss at seventeen thousand eight fifty-eight, and now the market has been like and falling like in a pack of cards. Though the bank nifty has not given me a signal, but this is suggesting me this market is getting more and more weaker. So, in case if you are getting like in a move towards a higher end, you will definitely see these guys like and making a another move, which is going to be giving you a reward. But trust me. This is going to be a difficult market to trade on the bank nifty at this juncture, but nifty anyone who's playing on it, it is getting a lot more weaker. Expect the nifty levels now all the way down now, because with this kind of a market, they are definitely going to be like making a downward spiral. I wanted to see this volume getting aggressive. Can they make it into an aggressive move now? Guys, only good news is now this OI, whatever the OI in the morning, which was showing me bullish, now everything has turned into bearish now. Okay. Nifty, it's completely bearish now. Look at this from 41, 77, 1 crore, 1 1.3 crore. And this side, the OI is slowly coming down. When the OI is coming down, it is going to be giving me a clue that absolutely these guys are not in a position to create any more positions on the downside. Instead, I wanted to take it lower. On the other hand, look at the Nifty, Bank Nifty 67. That means they have slowly started to create the position and they will wanting to take this higher. Once this 67 goes to 80 and this 59 comes to like an almost 40, 30, then you will see a significant move happening on the downside as well. Get ready for that. Guys, now for some strange reason, if the market is coming towards the zone, you will expect like one more round of and sell off. But what I would not expect it in this market is this kind of a move. I don't want these guys to get like an any kind of a clue that they wanted to like an uh, what to say make a move on the upside. They should not even be giving them an any easy leeway. I wanted this fall. This candle should have been like in a large, large red bar that would have given me like an, a lot of comfort. Will they be able to like and make a move on this one? Guys, they are just making it mockery of the system. People who are like and holding it. All the moves are like and now getting into like in a big, big sell off. But the funny thing is they should have been doing this in the previous candle with the volume. They have given it back to the bulls. Now they are bringing it lower and lower. But still, anyone who's playing on the Nifty, the Nifty signal. How many of you got the trade at the Nifty signal here? By this time, you should have done more than 1% if you would have been there. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Now, look at this VIX as well. What is the VIX doing now? 
which I have been telling you for the past two days, it has been unusual and other things. Now, what is the VIX doing to you? What is the VIX suggesting you? Whatever the things which we have been learning, this is exactly playing out now on the VIX factor as well. Market moving lower and the VIX rising significantly. It is going to be more and more bearish. I wanted to see that happening for the past two days. It was due to like in the longs who have been like an exiting their position. The market was falling today. There is a massive short buildup is happening here. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? This is exactly the kind of thing which I would love to see it on this market. Guys, what an amazing day to showcase everything to you all live. This market now started to fall deeper. And this is going to be like in the most crucial candle for the day for the Bank Nifty folks. Because Nifty has clearly made all its move presence felt. Bank Nifty still has not given a signal. But for some reason, in case of the bank, like a Nifty is trying to recover towards 17,800, you will see like in a massive, massive sell-off happening. Get ready for that. Guys, the only thing is, be careful with the RSI on the Nifty. Bank Nifty, yes, still has like an, a lot of scope for it to fall further. But what a move which has been happening on uh, like in the Bank Nifty now. It almost went into like in a day's low on the put side, uh, like in all the put premiums. Now it has started to fall and fall big as well. Guys, we have another 1 minute and 53. If this particular candle can make you a large move, this is already like in trending it to be like in a trending day. People who are looking for it, Nifty is clearly like in a gone case. The bank Nifty, yes, it is slowly building up that short positions pretty, pretty aggressively. And the most important thing, look at the trending OI. It is giving you a clue or not. You guys tell me now. Is it a sell on rise? Is it playing out well? Absolutely, yes. So if you are a player who's looking for it to like and make a move, this is the best time, guys. Slowly but steadily, the bank nifty is also doing it. All I need is another like in a volume on the next one minute. If they are able to do it, you will see this market making a new low on the bank nifty as well. But now, any move on the nifty due to the RSI factor, in case if they are trying to bounce, you will see a rejection happening at around like 17,800 to 17,850. These two levels is going to be pretty, pretty significant for you to enter into a trade. So anybody who would have taken a trade on the Bank Nifty, now this is almost giving you the moves. And am I getting the signal on the Bank Nifty now? Let this candle close and you would be getting a signal. The third candle will be my entry. In case if I'm getting a signal, considering the RSA levels and other things, this will be a beauty for you. This is looking ominous signs for both Nifty and Bank Nifty. Get ready for a deeper, deeper correction today. So the people who have been like and holding the put in the morning, they would have been like and rewarded. Now what they are trying to do is making the market jittery. Yes, you got the signal as I told you. This third candle will be my entry, usual scenario. If you're a Bank Nifty player, Okay, look out this. I'm just playing for 3,200, considering 300 points away from that level. And let's see whether we are able to like and pull it back a bit. I'm just going to be adding more position as it goes towards like in 300 zones. Yes, I'm going to be playing for another 50, 60 rupees on this one. Considering I've already made my target done for the day, I'm just going to be playing light. But third candle is my entry. Any move on this is going to be a golden opportunity for me to do it. Are they going to be like and making a move? We have entered some quantity around 1,000. It is already giving you a 10K profit. 
and you can clearly see like and the day is done for you or not how many of you are into the trades now the best thing is trail it because it is going to be volatile or if you feel that no 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 i'm going to be holding it for some more time it's up to you it has moved from almost like an a 10k profit to now like and it is getting very volatile guys but most important thing is on the way up as long as it is not moving higher with volume i am going to be happy to take my more positions there let's see whether they are going to be doing that they are hitting there that's good i'm going to be adding more positions on this one in case if it goes to 300 3 like in the 20 i'm going to be taking more positions with 250 as my stop loss this is going to be the only opportunity which is going to be available to me that's the reason i'm trying to do that one trade more than sufficient for me to get an exit on this one and then like and get out so we have around like in 2000 quantities on this one it's very volatile very very volatile look at that this is not going to be an easy one usually what will happen is the third candle will be the area wherein some of the weekends will be like in ch chased out and like in other things so unless and until this stop loss is getting triggered out it is going to be an area where and i will continue to hold it but the problem today is there can be like an a brutal move which is going to be happening so be careful guys if you are not able to like and hold your position the levels at which it is needed to be hold is the stop loss level which you are seeing it there so usually the next candle is where i'm expecting a fall to be happening if this candle is going to be like and falling like super then our target will be done look at that from 368 i just wanted it to cross the 370 mark can it cross that once it is just like and moving it pretty 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 crazy all we need is just like and you know, a one move on the downside pretty quick one it is just hovering around that area there's a only funny thing that can happen is a quick reversal and then like and triggering out once again similar to the morning ones what will happen normally is if they are not able to like and make it and like in a big make a big blow on the downside you will see a quick move happening on the upside very very volatile usually this is the candle wherein we should be seeing like in a big fall but let's wait and watch look at that it is just like in a stuck at that level hmm absolutely stuck at that level can they make it hmm. okay the fall is getting it look at that from 370 by the time we saw it is coming back to 360 once again this is crazy volatility so let me wait till like in 370 375 to be cross it is just hovering between like in a profit and a loss right 
But only thing is, I'm going to be trusting the signal. As long as the signal, we like in a, what to say, the stop loss is not getting taken out, I'm just going to be holding it. Considering we have deployed around like in 7% of the capital and moreover, like in whatever the money which I have made today, I will try to use that as my stop loss. And now look at this trending OI data. 76 to 37, which is a very good sign. Again, very, very good sign for me. I would continue to hold it. As long as this level is going to be like this, it is going to be an important opportunity for me to hold it. Guys, all we need is just like in one good trade. If this one can go towards like in 380, that's it. Our day is done. It is just like in making it wild, guys. It is very wild. Can it cross the 375 mark pretty quick? So someone is trying to book my profits before like, and you guys are doing it, right? <laughs> so let's see whether they are able to move it beyond that level pretty quick. I've given up thousand quantity and retaining the another like a 950 because it is not moving the way I wanted it. So we needed to be like and cutting down some positions in profit and then like and we are holding only the remaining quantities and I will add more in case if it goes towards like in 300. So the reason is Whenever you get the third candle theory, the two candle and then the third candle will be my entry. Usually you will see the fourth or the fifth candle wherein I get like an, a quick move on the downside, which has not been happening. I, by this time, I would have seen like an, a massive move. Looks like this candle might be the one in case if they wanted to make a move. But in case if they are trying to go up, then probably I will always have a backup plan for me to get an exit as well. Now, yes, it is moving. I'm just going to be trying to trail as much as possible. Is whether it is crossing the 385 mark. As of now, I place my trailing stop loss at 376 to 380. 376 to 3. It got hit. We got around like in 17k. What I'm going to be using is considering like in the level at which I bought it there, I also sold it. I'm just adding a few more positions here. Okay. Now I can always use my profits for my next trade, correct? So I'm just going to be taking a small quantity. Already, like in whatever the money which I would have deployed, I got more than 1% on this trade, correct? Now I'm just deploying a small quantity to get any additional advantage which I can get it, considering the market is now again trying to move. So the most important thing, once you are in a profit, try to trail it. Don't leave an open position. This can give you a large reward or it can also wipe out something. How many of you are in profits now? I hope all of you are enjoying this complimentary session. Is it working? All the strategies, whatever the things which we have been learning, is it working for you? Is one trade on the signal is enough? For me, yes. That's it. So guys, is our day done? Absolutely, yes. What more you need now? 
hmm? your day is done now in case if they are coming back here i can do another entry in case they are coming back now you see this we entered exited now it is below our buy price now okay 360 it is going towards like in 350 but the important thing is we as a scalpers they did like an okay only 125 quantity is left which we have left it i will just square off that one it got triggered okay 17000 we have made it's okay that's absolutely fine but now the next only trade opportunities in case if you wanted to wait for this level how many of you made more than 1% today check it you are a default i don't expect you to be like in doing less than that <laughs> So how many of you made enough money to enroll for the mentoring program to learn in detail now? How many of you feel my speed is too fast guys? No, I'm not too fast. Guys, the important element is like, and you needed to be at will to enter and exit. That's the most important thing. So now you believe that this is like in a human trade, not in a system trade, right? At least now you guys have like and got that idea. Okay, this guy is not like an an like an a robo. He is a human. Hmm? <laughs> Okay, so eighty to thirty-nine. Okay, little bit of a consolidation, which is getting to happen now, guys. What I want you to do is, it has already given you one move for you to like and get an exit. Now, in case if they are going towards the zone and the Nifty going towards like in seventy thousand eight hundred to eight fifty, this is the zone for you to get an exit. Okay, and people who are looking for the, okay, I'll just tell you that. So how many of you wanted to enroll for the mentoring to learn in detail now? This is a golden opportunity guys because we are going to have a 20 day session. This is going to be like in one of my last sessions considering I'm going to be concentrating on other aspects. Okay, so this is going to be the mentoring course detail, the dates and then the timings and everything has been mentioned here. So you can use this raise up a link to pay and confirm it. So the timings here, the dates are here. Don't forget to enroll yourself. It has been posted in our Telegram channel. How many of you are part of our Telegram channel now? Guys, this is a commentary session. This is not a training session. The session there, we will be going in detail and how you needed to learn and everything. This is like in my current trade, which is going on. Okay, guys, I will just show you little slow how you needed to like and uh, like and trail it. Okay, since you, if you have taken a trade here, okay, just like in two trades only. This one is like and taken now as we have like an uh, exited that position. I have taken a trade on this one as it is like in a buy on dips. Uh, sorry, sell on rise market. So it is currently giving me a profit of almost 875. What I needed to do is imagine I have 875. Already the price at which I bought was around 437 to 450 odd range. What I needed to do is keep my stop loss at somewhere around 485, 487 as my trailing stop loss. Just select this. Keep like a 10 or 15 point away from the level at which it is trading. Now it is at 511. Quickly, what do you do? 495 to 498. You don't want to miss out all the opportunities which is coming in your favor. Now, keep quickly move it to 505, 506. Now it is at 520. Only one trade is required for you to make that money and then keep on making it. Now, it is at 521. Can you see it? From almost 20K, now it has gone to 
70k and it has triggered our trailing stop loss so overall 68k here another 89 and this particular login we would not have taken a trade and there is another one which we would have taken a trade for 29 so overall already like in 2 2.5 has been done so the day is all we need is just like in one two good trades and we are done guys is this enough for you or not is the signal is not giving you a move whatever that you needed it you tell me now on a day like this what i did i just looked at the trending oi data whatever the things which i told you is that happened here the call side oi is slowly picking up massively the put side oi is coming down the direction is clear the day low break is happening in terms of the oi and then the move has happening on the chart wherein it has given me a perfect signal at somewhere around 10 21 accumulating it one candle it can easily give you the reward but i was expecting this candle here not here but anyway still we got around like in 20 30 k that's it guys the ospl will not be available in the public library it will be available only in oi pulse advanced chart Okay, if you're an annual plan member, go into annual plan OSPL signal, it will be available here. Yes, you just needed like an one day wherein you can make it like a pretty, pretty quick. Okay, so whatever the money which you are spending it on, on the subscription, you're getting a complimentary session, you guys are earning the money. And if you're still not wanting to do it, then I don't know what else you will be able to do it. Yes, we have made it so, so simple for you. And you guys are like looking at live action, how to make 1% return intraday pretty easy and then stay out. Now that we have made more than that, we needed to stay light. Absolutely stay light. This market is an absolutely a beauty. Now it is trying to go higher. And this is the bar which I wanted you to look at. On the way down, unless and until this is a trend line, which I'm seeing it, the clearly the market is not able to pass through. In case if this trend line is broken on the upside, then probably yes, this level and this level is equally going to be like in taking a strong move on the upside. But looking at the current scenario, at least for the day, every rise is a golden opportunity to sell it. Guys, anyone who is holding the, what to say, like in the puts, you needed to ensure that if it is above your buy price, keep trailing it because the Paytm is falling like a pack of cards and that is going to be putting up a lot of pressure on the Nifty as well because this is clearly suggesting there is no liquidity and Nifty 160 points. And is this the perfect one? Whatever the move which has been seen, everything is getting into like in a big sell-off. This market is absolutely brutal now. What a signal here. What a signal at around 10.9. From there, almost you are getting 120 points now. 120 points on that one. Perfect, perfect signal. Guys, again, I'm telling you, the trending OI can give you that big clue on how you needed to read the data. Look at the trending OI. It's a perfect one from morning. They have been breaking the day low. And look at this, 77, 1 crore, 1 1.3, 1 1.8, 1 1.9, and the other side, 41 to 38, 55, 38, 35. Now they have clearly determined that they wanted to take the market lower and lower. How did we analyze this in the morning? How many of you joined the session at early? If you have joined the session early, what did I say on 18,000 and 17,900? It is clearly going down the drains with the kind of OI buildup data is there, right? 18,000, continuous, continuous writing, pretty, pretty aggressive one. Again, they have made a massive long buildup, which is pretty significant. And then the short covering is happening. Now look at 17,900, 7 lakh, 31 lakh, 67 lakh, 43, 60, and 88. Amazing. 17,850, the same scenario. 17,800, a massive, massive writing is happening today. This is again going to be a very, very difficult level for the writers to like and what to say, sorry, the call holders who are holding a position on the call side is going to be difficult for them to do it. With the kind of markets here, 
the 17,700 is also slowly taking in lots and lots of volume today. It's going to be an interesting, interesting expiry from here. Guys, what is this 320 is all about? Okay, so I will go to 320 and this like a 320 strategy, what we have released recently. This is the chart of 320. It opened like and went from 460. It went, opened at almost at like an, uh, what to say, 540 odd zones. Okay, immediately fell off, but it never went to the stop loss level of like in 230. From 344, it picked up the pace. It is going at 609. Normally, when you're taking a 320 trade, if you're already getting enough rewards, you should be exiting it by 330 itself. If not, if you're holding it, this is your stop loss wherein 50% of your like an invested amount can be wiped out. But when it is giving you a large reward in the morning itself, if you are fast enough, you should be able to make money in the morning itself. So that's a way you needed to be looking at that trade. And moreover, never average your positions in the 320 trade. Okay, never average your position in the 320 trade. Both the days, it has been giving amazing, amazing results for the people who have been entering into the trade. And guys, yes, it is not going to be 100% like and it is going to be giving you a reward all the time. Like in looking at the ratio, we will be getting like an 80% day wherein we are going to be making profits. That we needed to like and make use of it. But if you are taking a trade, like and look at this from 290, it went on the same day 350, and then it opened at like in 520. Even if you are not able to exit there, you should be able to exit at 400. So it is almost giving you like in 60, 70% returns. And then it never went and hit the stop loss. It again played it pretty well. Both the bank nifty and the nifty, whatever the trades which has been giving, 320 has been giving you the massive result. So now, the market is clearly like and making a move on the upside. Can they make move on the upside? Keep on making it. Guys, now this is going to be my entry area, 37.988. So what is this in and out signals? How, how should I be like and looking at the signals to take a trade? The in is nothing but my entry, out is nothing but my stop loss. In case if there is an entry shown at 37.900, that means if it is in red, that means it is showing you a sell signal. If it is in green, that means it will show like this. Below, it is a buy signal. If it is a sell signal on the top side, it is at 37,926. And that is the area wherein I can enter with this level as my stop loss. Can you see this line which has been drawn? The line why we have drawn here is to easily identify whenever it is going and touching it. That means it is a stop loss level and I needed to exit my position. Okay, so that's the reason we have given that line over there. So on the way up and moreover, imagine this is a three minute signal, not like in a positional one. That means, Whenever the signal is generated, it is not bound to give you like an, uh, what to say, large move. We are a scalpers and we are looking for some scalping signals so that I can quickly make 1% returns and get out of the trade. I'm not here to like and look out for a large volume or large trades. No, I just wanted like an one or quick trades wherein it can give me a quick reward. And that is the reason we have taken that into consideration. Once we are entering in the third candle, okay, the second candle is where the signal is coming in. The third candle is my entry. This is my stop loss. And once it is going lower, you can use the high wherever it is there as a stop loss and then get an exit. Don't try to keep holding your position like in with the initial stop loss for the whole day. I wouldn't do that. Once the market moves lower, use the previous candle high as your stop loss and then keep on trailing it. If you're sometimes you can get 20 points, sometimes you can get 100 points as well. So that is the way these signals are going to be coming in again. Once the signal is like in a done for like in three, five minutes, you should be away and out. That's it. Done. Guys, we have made trading as simple as possible. Okay. As simple as possible for the people who wanted to love trading and who wanted to enjoy it. And trading is like in a tough game. Many people think that trading is like in a tough one and it is going to be very difficult. Okay. But we have made it pretty, pretty easy for everybody of you. Guys, moreover, I've given you this session also complimentary. What more you needed it from me, you guys tell me. Okay. I've just given the session complimentary for 3,000 users. Huh? You guys are enjoying the session. You are making money. 
what else you need you just needed to wait for the right trade one trade at a time you needed to pack your bags enjoy the vacation now that's the only thing which you should be doing now correct yes can i get some favor from you considering you guys have enjoyed the trade if you have an experience like in that yes today session so far it has been good or like in bad you can tweet at jashiva123 with the hashtag at oipulse. That will be your feedback on complimentary session, which I have provided. I told you I'll be giving one and I've been giving you several complimentary sessions, not only this, and how you needed to decode it in the live market and show you live trades, how you can trail the trades, how you can make money using a simple technique, not to worry about anything. This is pretty simple stuff, right? Is zero or zero? We will definitely like and look at it into the evening. This is our Twitter ID, just Shiva123 and hashtag OIPulse, so that we will know who's posting it. And we will be like in time to time, we will be announcing some lucky winners. And hopefully, you should be one of them. Who knows? You can be a lucky participant also for the next mentoring program, absolutely complimentary. So the best awards can also be rewarded like that. We will do that. Yes, today is a day wherein, in case if you are thinking about like an, uh, taking an every like an, a rise as an opportunity to sell, this is a day, okay? But in the second half, be careful. I don't want to like an, uh, hold some trades in large positions in the second half. Yes, first half, that's absolutely fine. Second half will be like an, an completely avoid. Gopal, we will definitely try if it is possible. I will definitely try to add that feature in uh, OI Pulse if possible, because that is currently not going to be possible because it is a big watch list which I needed to add it. But I will definitely see if I can do that. I will definitely try to do it. Don't worry. Here's the only trade I'm waiting for is somewhere around 37,989 odd zones. Okay, so it is going to be like 100, 150 points move from here. That's the only area wherein I can expect some kind of a trade to be coming in. So if you are a trader who wanted for the next entry, don't try to enter anywhere. Wait for that particular level. Nifty again, as I told you, somewhere around 17,800 odd zones to 17,850. This is a zone wherein you can get an entry. Okay, so the bank Nifty is trying to inch up. Can they go there? This is the zone. That's the only area wherein you can get some entry today. Guys, the, for a strange reason, HDFC is still trading in green. Okay, so that guy can like and completely change the picture. So be careful. Watch out for this strike in case if you are looking, like, and looking to enter. This is the one 38200 is the level wherein you can definitely look at at this juncture. In case if they are planning to make any moves, that's the zone. And the signal is coming in. Are they going to be breaking that? Okay, they are trying to break that level. Are they going to be breaking it in large? I'm just trying to go take a small quantity of 38,300, considering it is near to the super trend. And they have broken the super trend also. Interesting. Guys, this is crazy stuff. So we have taken some around like in the 500 quantities at average of 415. If it is quickly going towards like a 420 mark, I will try to trail that. It is triggering it, guys. It is very volatile. We got around like in 3,700 within no time, but I would not suggest like in for people who are like in having in weekends who couldn't like an enter and exit quickly not even bother to enter into the trade 
they are just making like an what to say wild moves on both the sides now the shot covering is happening so guys expect some wild moves on both the sides today let's see where is the oi data as of now the trending oi Okay, 87 to 37. That means the riders have started to come on the put side as well. Can you see this? From 31, it has started to increase and then the price is falling down now. So this is a clear sign. Now it is going to be into a writer's den at this juncture. So don't try to be in a hurry. It is going to be in writer's den at this juncture. And moreover, we have not got a signal here. This is a clear sign that the Bank Nifty is trying to like and show us something wherein the market is doing something which even our OI Pulse is recognizing it. Guys, this is not an ideal place for you to do an entry. It is trying to suggest me something. Okay, then I needed to listen to it. Let me not be aggressive at the way I was like an earlier. Guys, we will watch for another five, 10 minutes and then like, and we will go for the morning break and then we'll be back. Guys, this is going to be an area wherein they're just going to be eating out the premiums and everything. And moreover, this is a zone wherein they should have defended it if they are not. This is the only area wherein you can get some kind of a defense. Okay, so watch out that level. It's like in a wild moves happening on both the sides. This is the kind of market wherein it can have like a lot of lot of impact on your PL and Paytm now is almost at like 1,600. Wow, the fall is pretty pretty big. Fall is pretty big. Fall is pretty big. Now the only trade is once they are breaking the super trend and going below. Without that, there is not going to be much. Guys, be careful with Bank Nifty today because HDFC for some strange reasons, it's not falling. This guy can absolutely like and brutally take the market higher with like a single added move. That's the guy we needed to be like and really, really careful about today. They have been defending it. How long they are going to be doing that? Will they be able to break it above and then move higher or they're going to be making a move on the downside? We needed to see that a quick move on either side. Trust me, whoever is like in uh, doing this, it is like in a large players who are doing it. They are literally moving it both the side. That means like, and this is not going to be an ideal day for you to hold your positions for too long because either side, they can make a quick large move with like in a single candidate move. Like, and you will see like an, or to say 200, 300 points taken out very easily. That means expect the range to be pretty large today. If you're in an averaging position, don't try to average everything at one go ready to average it like in 200, 300 rupee range today because the market can move higher 200 points and then fall also like in 200, 300 points. That's the kind of day which we are seeing it now.
It's very volatile, guys. Very, very volatile. I wanted it to break the super trend and go below. Then probably, yes, we may get an opportunity. It's always important we get the right moves for us to get into the trade. And look at that. The WMA is like an equally providing the support what the Bank Nifty needed it. So that means people are trying to say that I'm going to be holding this level and I'm not going to be falling in a hurry at this juncture. But I may do it later. But I, in the meantime, I will try to trigger out all the weekend stop losses who are there in the system. That's a kind of message which is coming in now. We will see whether there is 11, 11 a 11 a.m. move. If not, we will go for the break. Guys, the NFT is still down by like 130 points. Look at that. It is just trying to take a resistance at those levels. So the NFT is not able to move beyond that point. Bank NFTY, it is struggling there, but it is not giving a move either on the upside or on the downside, which is clearly suggesting the premium writers are fully on the job there. Now the writers will be a little scared to write on either side. They know this is not the market wherein it can make a quick move on the upside or on the downside. Guys, when the Nifty has fallen close to 125 points, Bank Nifty has not even fallen like in 0.25%, which is clearly suggesting the Bank Nifty is getting lots and lots of support from uh, ICICI and the HDFC Bank. So unless and until these two guys are going to be falling, HDFC Bank has been on a fall for like in uh, several days now, right? So they're just like in trying to give us support at that uh, lower level. The RSI has also like in reached close to the 30 mark on daily charts. So with all these being said, Will this be a day wherein they are going to be doing a sell-off or they are going to be doing another round of an, what to say, a short covering move, short covering move at this juncture, little difficult considering something. But what if the government needed to like and make a boost on the market, if they're just trying to like and make a uh, protection at the lower levels, if the LIC is going to be coming in and protecting it, that usually happens in the second half, not in the first half. So let's see whether that's going to be happening today. Yeah, the VIX is shooting up. That's a only sign which is not going to be comfortable for the people who are trying to like and buy it. Look at this. It has almost shot from like in the 14 odd zones to went to 16. Now it is like an almost at 15.78, which is not a good sign. If you are like in a buyer in this market, the VIX is slowly inching up towards a 15 mark and the 16. So will that be able to like and shoot it up towards like in 17 and 17.5 today? So usually on like in a trending day, you will normally not get to see the super trend getting broken by this time. But in case if they are breaking it, that means like and they are going to be making it into like in a day wherein both the side moves can be happening. That's the day which is like and currently visible. Okay, guys, on that note, let's take the break. Once we are back, then we will see it. So in the meantime, people who wanted to enroll for the go annual plan use this guys our market is completely weak okay so don't even worry about that so we will be back at 11 45 a.m
market is trying to inch up, but I wouldn't be like, I'm too much keen to take a trade on this market at this juncture because it can do a lot of things on the upside and the downside. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, so team, what are we? I think the market has started to like and fall again. So it is trying to make a new low. In fact, it has made a new low here at 1145. So they have not been able to break out that uh, VWAP level and they are not even able to go to the, the level of like in 38,000. So clearly the market is trying to fall from the highs. But the most important thing is now, considering this was the previous low, which was around like in 37,847, there is a new low which got created here, 37,834. Watch out the timings here. Okay, the timing was 1045. This one is exactly at 1145. It is making a new low. So everyone are, after 1030, they have started to make a new low. If they are going to be making it a trend day, then what is that which we wanted is by 1245, they should be making a new low and they should not be breaking the super trend from this level. Okay, if the super trend is not getting broken, you can clearly expect this market to go into be giving you another round of end reward. Okay, so watch out for that level of the super trend. In case if they are not able to break it, 37,944, by 1245, if they're going to be making a new low, you can expect these market to give you another large downside bar today. And looking at the current texture, this is absolutely a sell on rise market perfectly playing out. It's the people who are looking for this indicator. Currently, the trading view is not allowing us to add this indicator. That's the reason what we have done is we have added this indicator in the trading view and we have given you the script as well, the indicator as well. This indicator, they are not allowing us to add it in the OA, like an OA Pulse Advanced Chat. The pure reason is if I'm going to be giving everything for free, then you will not be subscribing, making subscription in TradingView, right? So that's the reason they are not giving you that over there. But instead, you should be able to get this indicator even in a free version of TradingView here. Okay, watch out in free version of trading view. You should be able to get it. Option scalping V2. Guys, escort is moving because of the news. So please be careful because uh, I think the Japanese ec uh, company, which is acquiring the stake at 2000 rupees a share. Okay, so the escort is just moving. I'll just show you the escort chart. So if you would have been looking at the escort chart, that is like in a top performing index stock on today. And look at that particular candle. It is just like a moving. The reason is it is on 2000 rupees. They are making the open offer. So if they are acquiring the company at 2000, so what is that which is suggesting that the share value is valued at almost 2000 rupees. So today, if you are looking at that particular stock, you will be seeing like a massive move happening pretty, pretty quick. But be careful if you are a late entry now, because Escort has been making a news. If you have been seeing from almost 1,500 odd levels, it has already been rallying for the past two, three days. And today it is just like I'm trying to go and lock it in the upper circuit. Let's see whether they're going to be locking it in the upper circuit. It is almost getting into the upper circuit range. 9% now already done. 10% you will get to see that it is getting into the uh, upper circuit range. The circuit is 1798 and it got locked. Almost going there. Someone is trying to book some profits over there, but you can expect it to be like unlocked there. So be careful if you are a late entrant on escort, someone who is trying to play on the escorts, be careful. But look at this on the market move data only escort is getting that move other than that all of the banks are in the red only escort is getting all the moves on the bop side so be careful if you are like and because this is a news based event and some of them who would have bought it they might try to exit it as well let me see the escort chart on just give me a minute i'll show you escort on charting as well
Okay, it has a potential to go, guys. It has the potential to go today. So it is not just going to be stopping there. Okay, so almost a 50 rupee fall is happening on that one. This is crazy stuff. Went almost to the upper circuit, almost like in a 7%. Now, this is the area, say for example, if you are looking to play on the news, be careful because this is like an almost dripping and falling like in a pack of cards now. One seven four nine. So huge profit booking coming in at the higher level. So they are going to be like and making a move on that one. One more attempt from the lower level, a pretty quick one. Guys, escorts is clearly getting, getting getting into the bullish territory now. Are they going for the upper circuit once again from the 1750 to 1783? One more attempt. So weekends have been taken out. Look at this. The chart is absolutely beautiful from 1620 to 1797, coming back to 1745, again to 179, and then like kind of falling off a bit. Guys, they are going to be placing the open or open offer also at almost at two thousand bucks. So that is the reason that uh, stock is like and rallying crazy. Look at that, almost like in a 300, 400% move on all the like an index options of that particular stock. Okay, let me quickly check other parameters as well for you. Just give me a minute on Escort. I will see the EOD analyzer. Okay, so there has been a long unwinding happening in the current series. Sorry, next series. Uh, someone has got the news yesterday itself. Look at this. Guys, like, and there is hardly any move in the last seven, eight days. Yesterday itself, someone has created a massive position. So what these guys will do today? They are going to be exiting it from 1641. They've almost got like 100, 150 rupees. So... Yes, this is like an uh, operator driven stock. So you needed to be really, really careful because it has already the movers clearly visible. Yesterday, someone would have got it. They have accumulated the position yesterday. Today, once the news is out, this is not for you and me. So this is like an uh, operator driven stock wherein they know what they are trying to do. Guys, trust me, you and me would be the last ones to know in this market. And, and the most of the time, the retail community, when they are chasing it, they will be like and getting caught in left and right. And look at this. Okay, all these are like in having a massive build up. Wow, 300, 400%. Imagine a person who would have bought yesterday here at 1700. It's days like one day today, he would be like in becoming like in a millionaire. That's exactly the stocks are doing it here. That's not for you and me. Superb, superb, Anuj. But trust me, the market is absolutely at like in a brutal phase. Look at this escorts. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'll also show you the future data for that.
So longs have been building up from morning, like a long shot long and long quantity is like in pretty huge. Be careful. They are making a massive move. Is it going to be the same thing for the Bank Nifty as well? Let's just give me a minute. Guys, Algo Pulse is like an, an automated system where we are going to be like an, uh, using something to take uh, trades on automated way. Whenever there is a signal and other things which we are working on it, once it is fully ready, I will definitely like and keep you all informed because there is a lot of things which need to be done for that and we are working on it diligently. So once it is ready, I can definitely give you guys a demo of the product. But in the meantime, all the rise on this market, it is getting sold pretty, pretty aggressively. And most importantly, as I told you, watch out for this low that needed to be broken by 1245. Okay, the previous low got broken at like an 1145, exactly one hour. They ensured that we are going to be making a low and they made it. So by 1245, if they are going to be making another low, you can expect the market to be like in getting into the downward spiral. The Nifty is already making a new low every like in, uh, what to say 30 minutes or so. Only the Bank Nifty has not been doing that. And even that has started to do from 11, 1045 to 1145. Now people who have been asking me, Shiva, how to identify it is a trend day or not. This is slowly becoming like in a trend day now. Did I say that like, in, this is the kind of number which I wanted to see it in the morning? Both were having like an 5660 bullish. Once a particular side is getting like a more and more OI, it is crossing the one crore mark. On the other hand, it is only like an 49. But what does this data is suggesting to me is, Shiva, this can give you a large move. Okay, so they are slowly telling me, Shiva, they can give you a large move. Get ready for that. So watch out for that. Will it be a day wherein they are just going to be giving you a large wild move? Seventeen thousand seven hundred. Is usually who are the operators actually it can be from the like and uh, promoters of the company who would be like and having a tie up with some people or like and say for example if i know the news i'm working in the company and i've been part of the deal and like and you are a relative to me and if i pass the information that there is going to be something big is going to be happening the positive announcement is going to be happening you prepare yourself and so on i will then prepare myself for that particular move that's exactly been done here nothing else Yes, we are working on a screener, which is going to be giving you a clue where exactly like in case if there is a quick move happening in a particular stock, if there is like in some massive buildup happening, we are trying to get you all a screener, which will help you all to take a determined action, which is our like in a key focus. And we will definitely get that to all of you. Okay, one more large attempt. This bank nifty is literally like and playing with lots and lots of stop losses today. 
guys one candle without any volume look at the way they are jumping it this is crazy stuff almost like an 100 150 point move in a single candle here look at that as this is again you are getting to see a, like in a gap getting created look at that are they going to be using the gap to fill it up on the way up are they taking it higher and higher and then dumping it this is crazy market are the gap is going to be filled here i don't want the super trend to be broken that is for sure guys if the super trend is getting broken that's not going to be a good news is the gap getting filled absolutely yes so the gap filling theory which you guys have been learning from morning they have shown you twice that like and yes whatever the gap which i'm going to be creating it on a 3 minute i will quickly like and cover that position this is like an a gap filling market as well looking at this Guys, why they are creating escorts in the next series rather than the current series? Because with only one week to go, you needed to take a physical delivery next week in case if you are holding the positions on that, right? They don't want to take that chance. They are just like and literally playing for the other things. So that's the reason they are not willing to take any position. Okay, now you would have got an answer why they are doing that. Guys, yes, VMAP will be like an area wherein we can try to short. But one thing which I wanted it by like in 12.45, if I'm getting to see a new low, you can prepare yourself for something big today with the way the market is falling and other things. It can give you a reward on that. Guys, there is another question which was asked whether the Z can be similar to that. I'll just show you the Z chart, EOD OI analyzer. Just watch out for this one. The EOD OI analyzer can give you all the clues what you're looking for. Look at the zeal. It has been having a long unwinding and short buildup and other things. Next series, absolutely only a short buildup. There is absolutely nothing to suggest this can give you a large reward at this juncture, but anyway. But it has been like an in a having in a short build up category. Please do not try to go and think like and it can give you a large move. At this juncture, nobody is looking at that. Okay, trending OI. Guys, looks like there is going to be like in some kind of a consolidation before they make the next move. That's exactly they are trying to do it. Okay, we got a signal in Bank Nifty now. I'll just show you that. So one more signal came in exactly last time when it went to the super trend, it didn't give a signal, but this time it is perfectly giving a signal suggesting that there is an opportunity available. Guys, in case if someone is taking a signal on this one, this is your in. That means your sell order can be initiated from 37,924, currently trading at 37,919. The stop loss for this trade is 60, 70 points, which is 3860. So if you have already taken a trade, you should just wait for this initial stop loss. But once the market is moving in your favor, like in say, for example, the software is getting stuck. Just give me a minute. Imagine I'm just taking a trade here, okay? So imagine you have taken this trade at the signal, okay? Now, initially I will wait for that signal like a level as my stop loss. 
But once it is in my favor, what is the price at which we would have bought it here? You needed to look at the price. Once you have like an uh, having a price and if it is like in moving it above. Okay, so currently we have around 225 quantities. What is the price at which we bought? 388, 387 and 384. Okay, so we have bought that and it is currently trading at 376. I will be keenly watching my stop loss level. This is going to be my stop loss level. Say, for example, if the market is moving higher, I needed to just hold till level. And moreover, someone who is trying to average, don't try to average all your positions at once. Now, every 20 or 30 rupees, if you are able to like an average your position, now 380 to 365, right? What about the positions which I would have taken at 380? If I'm averaging it at 365, my average would be somewhere around 375. So currently, how much quantities I have now? Around 375. What are the positions which we have taken now? Considering we already made some money, I don't have like an, any other issues to take the trade. 384 to 387, 3. And then 366 to 369, I've taken three, three lots here. Okay. So the average would be somewhere around 375 to 376. Okay. In this scenario, in case if they're quickly moving above 380, then I will be in a profit. Once it is above my price level, I needed to just trail it. Or someone who couldn't remember it, what you can do is you can always remember what was your previous M2M. If our M2M was 16,000 earlier, now it is at almost like an 11,000 now. So that means we are sitting on a loss of more than 4K here. Let's see whether, where are they going? Let them go, let them go. In case if they are going towards a super trend, I will add some position because I'm not expecting the super trend to be broken at this juncture. So in case if you feel that like, and they are going to be going towards a super trend, you can add the positions there. Are they going there near to the super trend? More and more near. I'm just adding some positions there. And most importantly, now I have like in close to 675. So now what was my like an M2M earlier? 16K. Now it is at 17K, a quick entry. And once it is above my buy price, what should I do? I should trail it. Let me see whether it is able to cross that 365 mark. If it is able to quickly cross the 365, I can quickly trail it. And at the same time, I know my risk. Currently, I have deployed almost at like around 2 lakhs. So even if this goes to entirely to zero, what are the profits which I've made in other account? That is going to be the one which I'll be losing it. So that's the reason holding this trade for me, it's not going to be an issue at this juncture. But most importantly, always keep in mind don't try to be in a hurry to average, average it more near to the resistance area. That is the area wherein you can get the maximum benefit. Now it is almost at 363, 364, right? Let it cross the 370 mark. Then we will be into a big profit. So once you're like in having that, then you will always have an opportunity that you're not going to lose anything on your capital. You're going to be only losing. What are the profit which you're trailing it? That's absolutely fine. But this is like in a very volatile market. So I needed to be really, really careful now. So it is almost getting into that like in 20K mark profits. From 16, it went to 11. Now it is back at almost 20. Look at that. It is fluctuating very, very rapidly. I was looking for it to cross the 375 mark. But unfortunately, it is hovering around that like in 360 to 370. Yes, as a scalper, my intention is to like and quickly enter and exit. I should not be holding it beyond like in 15 minutes on any trade. If I'm holding it, there is every possibility on an expiry day due to the theta effect. We may be able to lose the premiums, but only good thing is I'm playing in the money, not too deep in the money, not too like and uh, also like and closer to that. Okay, so only thing which I'm waiting for it to cross the 370 mark. Currently, we are at no loss, no gain kind of a level. So is it going to be triggering my 352 and 341, which we have placed it as an order? It triggered my 352. Will it going to be triggered my 341 as well? Looking at the scenario, it can. So if you look at my BEP now, it is at 341 with the previous profit is completely eroding. So anything is possible in this market. That's a reason use it, your capital very wisely. Now, in case if it goes to 365, what I can do is I can like, and I would say, wind down some positions and hold the remaining positions.
So clearly the super trend is acting as a resistance. I don't want these guys to break the super trend now. Can they go towards like in 375? First and foremost, protecting your profits and the capital is very important. From 16K, we got it to 22, it went to zero. Now we are at 22K. It is like an, an quick scalp, which is what I would suggest it on this kind of a market. So we entered from 388, averaged it when it came to 352 near to the super trend. And then we were able to trail it once it is above our buy price, our buy price was somewhere around 366. Once it went to 375, we trailed it, we got it done. Now, if you look at it, the price has come to 350 odd loans. This is how the scalper will do it. So once again, what a scalper will do, he will try to enter as long as the super trend is not getting broken on the upside, correct? So imagine now, if we have entered, like, and I got only like in one, two, three lots, I believe. So 75 got, we got it. And what is the price at which we got it? We got it at 356. What is the price at which it is trading now? It is trading at 371. So even with a small quantity, you can keep doing this as long as the levels are not getting broken. So you will be easily pocketing like an 10, 12 rupees, and you can always look for the next trade to be hitting in and then entering, hitting in, entering. But this is for experienced folks, okay? I wouldn't be like an keen to like an, uh, what to say, looking for the newbies to like and trade like this. It'll take several years, guys, because you needed to have that fast skill and moreover, you needed to observe the charts pretty quickly. And at the same time, you needed to be real quick in entering and exiting. Guys, I'm expecting the downside move to be there on more than the upside. So by like in 12.45, I'm expecting a new low. If that new low is getting down, uh, like, and then that will be a trend day. So watch out my timings. 12.45 today, we needed a new low to be created on the Bank Nifty. Let's see whether we are going to be getting it or not. Again, we got one more quantity. What is the price at which we got it? Can you see, like, and this is how sometimes we can also play, like, in a small scalping game. 3.56, now it is at... 359, 360. If you're looking for 5, 10 rupee profit, you can book it. Or if you wanted to wait for some more time, you can just like, and once it crosses the 365 mark, trail it, and then you can still make it count. So what I have done, I have placed one order at like in a three lots at 341, three lots at uh, 331. In case if it goes there, let it trigger. Yes, whenever you're handling a trade, the most important aspect is never get into a panic mode. How many of you looking at my position, you are getting into panic mode? Tell me honestly, you guys needed to tell me an honest one. I know some of you who are like an entering, you would be feeling, oh, this guy is going to make a loss. That kind of an, like a an panic attack. How many of you are feeling that? Looks like, yes, quite a few. That means you guys are still having a hold or like, and you are like, and thinking that, no, 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 whatever the trade, which I'm entering, I needed to get into the profit. Hey, sometimes it may not happen, but the most important thing is even when you're in profit or loss, never lose your composure. Now look at it. It, we entered at 356. Now it is already giving me like in a profit of more than 10 rupees. What should I do now? Trail it, correct? Keep it at 362, 364. Let me see whether it is able to cross the 366, 367 mark. Done. Place it. Once now, what you can do is keep your orders ready. Okay, it triggered it. It's okay. So it triggered it. In case if it had gone to 375, immediately like and modify your orders, keep on doing it. So even with this, we have made like in a small lot with 1,000, 2,000 rupees, right? So someone who's looking for even whether I'll be able to make with small lots, like in some money, quick money and other things. Guys, all these signals are meant for scalping signal. The reason why I wanted to showcase this is even in the small signal, we should be able to make money. Many people believe that, no, Shiva, the signal is coming in, but I'm not able to take a trade. If you are not able to take a trade, that means you are losing out an opportunity wherein the market can give you a small reward. So I'm not going to be saying like, and everybody should be doing it, but this is for people who are experienced, who feel that. I have, a, I'm a multi-lot player and I can play for like in a range and I can keep making entries and exit at will. Those are the guys who can think about entering into these kind of trades. Others strictly avoid. 
this is like an experience guys like in a game which is going to be happening here guys the most important aspect is say for example how much we have made here 27 okay look at this was there any strikes in the red there no look at this next one 75 27 plus 75 we have made 1 lakh is there any line items in red no next one we have made around 90000 here okay 90 plus 1 it is almost like an 190 next one no items in red Twenty-four thousand, another twenty-nine thousand. Slowly but steadily, you are able to make an impact. And then this is the last login. So people have been like and asking me, Shiva, like and will I ever be able to make all the strikes in green, guys? The my critical focus at this time is to make all strikes in green. This is the only quantity which I'm having it now. Even here, I'll just show you the last trade, the previous trade which I do it. Okay. So this is my previous trade before I think during the break timing I did that. Okay, look at this. I entered. Uh, sorry, let me just show you with the timings. So eleven forty six to eleven fifty one. So what I did is I entered around like a thousand quantities that are range between four zero eight to three eighty. So whatever that was available during that time, I was like and just picking it up, and. I was just keep on trailing it. Once it went to four ten, four twenty, it was like an easily giving me like an a twenty thirty k profit on that one. That's it. The day is done for me on that one. It is easily giving me like an a profit of like an thirty. But the most important aspect is you need to keep trailing it. Even now, I'm having this one twenty five right. With small quantities, you can keep on like and taking a like and a small small quantities. So in that scenario, every ten fifteen rupees. Say for example, look at this. We have taken a trade at four sixty three, and now another one at four seventy five. So what I have done, I'm just pyramiding it on the way up. When the market is moving in my favor, all I needed to do is something which was there as like an a seventy one thousand profit. Now it has gone to seventy eight. So every ten rupees or twenty rupees, if I'm adding it, once it is above your buy price, yes, this is the range which has crossed. Now I don't want to be like an holding that trade. Okay, I wanted to quickly trail it. In this way. you can also accumulate your position on the way up pyramid it on the way up not only on the downside you can make money on either side look at this we bought one at 464 another one at 475 now it is trading at 490 and what am i doing keep on trailing it now it has hit our stop loss like in trailing stop loss we made it how many of you feel that the trading is like in a fun absolute fun and you will be able to enjoy it like this so we didn't had my primary goal for this year is not to have any strikes in red but yes i will also be like in hitting some strikes in red and other things that naturally like and i will be losing it but you just needed to do it guys we are doing it manually right i'm just doing it right in front of you all the like and everything is a normal limit order none i am been placing market orders did i place a market order i'll show you one more trade here What is the limit order? Do you see this? Okay, price. Everything is normal. I'm just like I'm doing this and then entering into it. Can you see it? I already got three lots and another three lots order placed. But the initial three lots which I got, it was at like an almost at the price of four eighty now. Four seventy eight was the like an average price at which it got. Now we are at four ninety six. Immediately, what do you needed to do? Trail it once it is above your buy price. Keep it at four eighty seven, four eighty nine. It is trading at four ninety three, four ninety four. Now, even with three lots, if it is going and giving me like a ten twenty rupees, all I needed to do was keep on trailing it. So people who ask me how am I trailing it, four ninety. Now it has gone to four ninety nine. Okay, I kept it at four eight ninety eight and four ninety nine. I got around thousand two hundred rupees. How many seconds we were there in the trade? Four seventy eight to four ninety eight. Twenty rupees. How many seconds we were there in the trade? Almost at thirty forty seconds. That's it. Thirty seconds, two thousand rupees done. Dusted, came out. 
this is a beauty about scalping you can keep on scalping once you know the direction and how you can be doing that so how many of you are feeling confident now yes this is something i can do it day in day out guys watch my nest session i have given you a detailed guidance on how you needed to hold these quantities and everything in nest okay so how you can place your orders and how you can trail it and everything guys the most important thing is you needed to learn this art and making sure you needed to do it so what did i say on the days low what is the time which we are looking for the days low to be created we are looking at 12:45 and what is the low which we wanted it this candle low what is that 37834 what is the market doing now 37867 can i get a new low in the next 5 10 minutes i wanted it before 12:45 that is going to be giving me a confirmation someone who is coming into the market in the morning he is trying to punch in the orders from morning and he wanted to take this market lower so will i be able to see a new low by 1245 we'll get an answer don't worry okay come on guys looking at the current structure and everything they wanted to prove us what you are saying right okay these guys are going to be making a new low every but the only thing which i'm keenly watching is when these guys are going to be making this massive move of quick down okay is this going to be the candle are you guys going to be doing it well before the 1245 mark so what was the need for it to move from here to here just to trap the weekends get them shaken out and then like and chase them away once these guys are making a new low it is going to be giving you a confirmation and moreover what did i say if they are making a trending move usually they don't break the super trend till 132 230 on an expiry day that's going to be an advantage for you but the most important thing is when they are making a new low you will see like in a large bar coming out but that large bar needed to have some sufficient volume nifty on the other hand it has already made a new low it is keep on making a new low every 15 minutes and you can see that on the trending oi data as well look at this if you are looking at early what are you seeing two day low like an has been created on a 30 minute they have been making a new low every 30 minutes literally bank nifty at least on 30 minute they have made once early they have made twice okay 10:30 11:30 they made it but it was not populating here based on the oi but this is all oi data not the day low actually okay oi also i wanted it to see a day like a day low getting break the reason is that means i am getting more and more confident that the riders are getting adding more positions on a particular direction you can clearly see 41 lakh 1 lakh oh, sorry 1 crore 86 1 lakh 1 crore 84 210 now okay so now you are getting to witness all these things now in a live market so bank nifty almost they went near but they were not so let's see i will give the time till 1245 for them will 1245 will be a time wherein they are going to be making a new low i'm going to be keenly watching that guys trading should be fun don't make it complicated okay watch the data observe it and once you are doing it then you should be so how you maintain your high yield you are in front of the system all the time guys the most important thing is when i am there in front of the system yes it is going to be like in like in a stressing out keep taking a break go out watch some green watch some like in nature like in uh, you can always witness something which is going to be in green whenever it is possible try to avoid and most importantly when you are watching the screen try to have like in good lighting in the background okay that is very important okay without the lighting don't try to do it are they making a low for you are they listening to me what is this low did they did it and when they are breaking it are they breaking it with like an a sufficient move is this a good sign for you or not so why are they making a new low can anyone say it why i've been insisting on a new low to be created every like in 30 minutes or one hour hmm the new low is done now what a way for you to understand in live market the way these guys are doing it it is a confirmation and one more thing 
they wanted the call buyers to exit their position or the future buyers to exit their position okay the most important thing they are also telling the opponent player guys we are having 10000 crores in the cash initial 1 hour we place 2000 crore every 1 hour i'm going to be deploying 1000 crore if you are able to defend do it now they are putting an open statement to the opponent player asking like and come on guys push me higher if you are able to do it push me higher the opponent player will start to feel the heat he will be feeling oh shit man what these guys are doing every one hour is like and trying to take this market lower that means this guy is create like and having lot of funds so the opponent player either he needed to deploy additional funds to counter the rally or he has to take a back seat and then like and exit this position that is when the guy who has been pumping in the money on the short side will be able to cover his position used like in that opportunity to book the profits so he is trying to create the pressure on the opponent side come on show me something why don't you like and take this market lower or like and take this market higher when you are seeing this kind of a candle coming out of nowhere after this what is the like a scenario coming in who is coming in and jumping in to buy it here once you are making a new low the guy on the opponent party is saying guys we have given him enough time to take this market lower and he has been doing that why don't we put number another like in 2000 crore to see whether if you are taking the market ir whether he is going to be putting in some money so but why 1245 guys it's not 1245 all i am looking for is when they created the first low and when is the next low is getting created this low was created at 1045 okay the previous low which was there was around somewhere around 10 o'clock and then they broke it from here there was a significant bounce happen from 1045 if you look at exactly 1145 they broke, they gave you a new low before that it was no 1145 that's the reason i'm expecting by 1245 a new low but they gave me well before that it is almost at they gave it to me at 1225 itself now they're just going to be playing around one more time here and there now you watch out the new low is getting created right more and more low getting created it's a confirmation that the market is moving lower now what are the things which i would be keenly watching for the wicks and then the dow data imagine dow can do anything in the afternoon all of a sudden when the european markets open the dow rallies like in 100 to 150 points you cannot be keep falling our market has been like in literally falling for the past few days without even any kind of a news from the global markets what do you think which is at a disadvantage is the dollar index going keep on going higher now today for some reason if the dow is recovering and considering we have been falling for like in a quite a while there can be a short covering the shorts who have been like and carrying the position what if they don't want to carry a position over the weekend considering it's a long weekend they can also carry their like and cover their position that's the reason we needed the trend confirmation to be happening 1220 the low has been created now by 125 i wanted another low to be created why because they have not made an like an, an a 30 candle uh, like an a 30 minute move they have been making it on an hourly move so that's the reason i wanted to see till 120 in the meantime between 1 1230 and 120 if they are going towards a super trend yes a rejection trade is possible if they are going towards a vwap with a low volume i will again try to enter there but considering we have already made 3% I don't want to go aggressive today. That's it, guys. I'm looking for one person. I'm like, and whatever the capital which I've deployed for, like, and one CR, I've already got like, and three lakhs. This is more than more than sufficient. People who are looking for like, and larger returns who have been trading for the whole day, they are the ones who will be losing it out. You just needed to wait it out. Don't try to think that every candle is for you to trade. Okay, the candles are going to be forming. The candles are going to be coming on downside, upside, and everything. Now, people who will be looking at this. they will go and take a trade on the call side why they feel that the market has bottomed out now the market is moving higher let me go and take a trade on the call side trust me on a trend day never ever go and take a trade on the opposite direction and that too what is that which i am going to be suggesting it has already fallen 70 80% what are they going to be doing they are inviting some fresh souls who can come in someone who would have bought it at 400 200 range already it is at 92 okay they would have lost their one kidney story right kidney story we will go into the kidney story they have already lost one kidney from 90 they might move the price to 110 120 thinking that you are like looking at the market is moving higher let me go and buy a call there are many people who lost one kidney now you are going and giving two kidneys why is there two kidneys 
they are going to be showing you 20 rupees as a carrot and they will take entire 100 rupees away from you unless and until they move it above the viva with volume i'm not going to be a buyer today on this market it is going to be a golden opportunity whenever they increase the price on the like and decrease the price on the put side looking at the trending oi data it is a golden opportunity for me to keep on looking to sell every rise that's exactly i'll be trying to do it it's beautiful beautiful day to make money okay so if you guys are like and not making today then you should definitely be like and checking yourself why you guys were not able to do it on a day like this when a typical a trending day and if the market has given you sufficient signals and the volume and trending oi and every information for you to take a trade and if you have not made money still then you should definitely question yourself whether you are on the right trade at the right time at the right place Absolutely, Kiran. Both Abid and Abdullah are like and absolutely trying to like and make the move. Guys, important thing. Look at this. There is a fall of like and more than 80, 70, 80 percent. On the put side, you are seeing like in a 40, 50 percent. Now I'll just show you OI analysis data. This is a trending OI data. If you wanted to see it in a detailed view, you can look at this. What is the detailed view is suggesting you now? You guys tell me. Looking at this data, what is the detailed view? First, you will not be able to see it here. I'm giving you a graphical format. What is the data showing you? The OI on the call side is significantly keep on increasing higher and higher. On the put side, it went higher along with the market. That means they are built up some long positions here. And now there is some kind of an unwinding it is happening. But at the same time, the call OI is keep on moving it higher. Most important thing is the sentiment is showing me in the negative, whenever it is showing me in the negative, it is indicating to me the market can fall. If the sentiment is above the zero, that means the market can move higher. In the morning, it was moving like an, a little positive. From there, it is quickly falling and falling, keep on steadily falling, which is clearly suggesting this market has a potential to fall further and further. Yes, we have given you all the right things, how you needed to decode this data, what you wanted to see it, and how you needed to play. Okay, now I will show you the OA analysis chart. Look at this. This is on a 60 minute time frame. Let's look at from 38,000 because that was the level at which it was trading. What is the data suggesting you based on this 38K? Where exactly these guys have been like in, uh, trying to take a career position here? what the shots are doing, what the longs are doing. Are you getting a clear clue? Am I going to get like in 38, uh, sorry, uh, 38,000 today? Looking at this data, I don't see that happening. Why? The reason is morning they have built up some short position. Most important thing in the first one hour, 9.30 to 10.30, the most crucial hour for any traders, they have built up a massive short position of 11,89. On the other hand, they have covered 8,14, the OI is dropping like crazy on the 38K. The OI has been increasing like crazy on the other side. So which is clearly suggesting today the upside is very limited. It is going to be very difficult to take the 38K out unless and until government announces something to like and like pump the market. Okay, without that, it's absolutely not going to be happening. 37,900, look at that massive massive short build up and then a long unwinding is happening if the long unwinding is happening that is giving you a clue that these guys are not willing to take this any higher and people who would have been buying it from 285 140 140 and 100 and so on they're already losing it to 87 few minutes back i told you the kidney story right at 100 now it is back at 90 now the guy who would have bought it at 100 110 you will be feeling the pressure Oh, 20 rupees is gone. Should I be averaging my position? Now he would have averaged it quickly here. Once it goes to 70, he will average it again, thinking that the market is going to be bouncing from that level. But more and more, he will be averaging more and more. He is going to be giving it to the writers today and he is going to be enjoying whatever the money which you're going to be offering it to them. But looking at the current scenario, 37,800, massive short build up at around 11.30 to 12.30, 37,700, 2,68. So at this current juncture, the OI buildup is like and building up up to 37,500, 37,400. That is absolutely nothing. That is clearly suggesting the market at this juncture, they are looking at 37,500 as the best case scenario. Guys, just give me a second.
Okay, guys, sorry about that. I received a call. So 37,500 seems to be the area wherein I don't see beyond 37,500. They have been creating any positions on the writers who needed to create more and more position. Imagine if I wanted to take the market higher or lower, most importantly, the sellers are the ones who are creating the position. When they are creating the position, if they have not created sufficient positions on a particular direction, they are not going to be letting you to go take the market in that particular area. That's the reason you needed to be watching out what they are trying to do with. So as of now, every rise, is it getting sold? Beautifully, yes. Beautifully, yes. Is the kidney getting uh, like and stolen from you? How many of you got your kidney stolen today? Buying it on the call side? Anyone? No? Then you guys are the smart ones. So that means either we lost both the kidneys or we are safeguarding our kidneys. <laughs> someone will say, Shiva, like, and we lost the kidneys long back in the market. <laughs> or someone will say in the morning move they have stolen our kidneys but that is where like in the uh, okay some of you lost it and then recovered it as well <laughs> okay like in some of us at least like and we are stealing someone else's kidney right <laughs> okay so whatever it is now you are able to decode it why i am saying all these things So does it make sense now? The way you guys are seeing the market, the way these guys are doing it, and looking at the current scenario, looking at the way these guys have been moving it, I'll just show you the option chain page, which I wanted to show you. Let's see how it moves. Okay, I think this is, I will show you Bank Nifty. Okay, even now, they are, the writers are the ones who are enjoying it. Why I say the writers are the ones who are enjoying it? You can clearly see the most elegant trades which is happening is going to be on in the money and at the money. Here, they are taking maximum money away from you and they're literally giving you very few where the volumes are there. They're giving you in the deep in the money strikes, but hardly any volume getting traded. So that's the reason you needed to be looking at to take a trade in deep in the money, 38, 200, 300 and 400. That's where like, and you will not lose anything. Even if the market is moving higher, you will only lose that many points. But if you're taking a trade here at the money, you have every possibility that 191 and 82 can both be eroded by end of the day. So be careful. Don't try to go into that when the premiums are a little crazy. Guys, continuous sell-off has been happening. Okay, looking at this, yes, it is texture is weak. Broken the 50, 20, everything. And the next immediate support for me is somewhere around this level of like in 36, 940. The way it is looking like is positionally also the bank nifty is getting into the weak territory because the RSA has fallen below 40 and the volume on the downside is pretty big. And most importantly, nifty is on like in a free fall and their next support, which I'm expecting is somewhere around today. In case if they're going, the support is going to be 17,561. They have not broken that trend line in a long time. So if they are going to be breaking that 17,561 in the upcoming days, there is a congestion zone which is available till 17,350. Once that is also getting broken, you are on a free fall on Nick Nifty as well. Okay, those these are the two levels which I want you guys to look for positional players. And intraday, the signs are looking pretty ominous for them to keep making a new low. And they are literally doing it. I wanted this OI to be coming down drastically on the put side. And once it goes in the negative, that is a clear sign that the riders are running for cover left, right, and center. Guys, if the like an OI pulse signal is coming in between like and the what to say no trade zone, this is an opportunity because. OSPL signal is not going to be generating based on several parameters, not only only the chart indicators. As in human high, we are only looking at the chart to see whether it is RSI in overbought zone and other things. But 
these signals are AI built. When I say AI built, they are not only going to be looking at the chart indicators, they are also going to be looking at the OI data, how the positioning on each of the strikes, how the, how the global markets are looking at, and what are the other parameters. The only thing which is not going to be factored in in this one is going to be the news. News is something which I will not be able to introduce it to the AI, which we are also trying in case if there is going to be a news impact and other things. Results, to an extent, we are going to be looking at it. But news, say, for example, someone comes on TV and announces some measures, that is something which AI cannot do at this juncture, which we are trying to work on it. But all other factors, this is going to be taking into consideration. That's the reason the AI sometimes gives you a signal wherein a human will not be able to take a trade. But still, I would definitely like and think about taking a trade if the AI is giving it. Why? Imagine if you have not taken any trade here, this is your first signal opportunity. Then I would definitely take a trade. But if you have already taken a trade here, made sufficient money, then you can avoid it. Even you know that it is trading in the no trade zone. That's the way I would consider it. But it's not necessary that just because the signals are coming in, I needed to keep taking a trade on everything which has been offered. No. If you have already made money, why you wanted to get into the trade again and again? Just skip it. Just avoid it as much as possible. Day is just going to be beautiful if you follow those protocols. Guys, this is the discount code for the yearly subscription, which is come back 20 on the go annual plan. You can use come back 20. You will get a 20% 20 20 off on that one. So which is a no trade zone, you can clearly see here. I've they can drawn two lines between 40 and 50. When the RSI is going to be between 40 and 50, usually it is a no trade zone. It can like an either move up, it can either move lower, and it can just like and play around in that zone wherein the premiums can melt. All these things can be happening. Guys, if you wanted to enroll for the annual plan, just go into OI Pulse, click on this plans page. Okay, once you register, you will be able to see it on the plans page. Just go to go annual and click on subscribe. Here you use that come back 20 and apply it to get the discount there. Okay, so you will be able to get an instant discount and you can play the balance and then enroll, enjoy it. <laughs> Guys, like and uh, we have been having a classic, classic, like an advantage. People who have been using it, they are literally minting money because they now getting used to it. Okay. Guys, yes, I've taken last month. I don't know how many of you saw a trade, which I took it like and very rarely I play in the option segment. Okay, especially the stock options. I took only one trade. Whole of last year, this is the only trade which I've taken, which is the one ICICI. I will look for stocks like this and then take a trade. This was the one trade which I took it. And I'll just show you what is the reason as well. And next time, in case if you guys are looking at the data, you will also be able to do it. Before the result, I was looking at the data for the last 10 days of ICICI. One thing which you needed to clearly observe here, it was a continuous short covering. Okay, it was a continuous short covering. The result date was on 24th or something, and the, like in the, the market was a holiday, 25th the market opened. Look at this, 7.11.40, 7.11.90. This low, this low, this low, this low was never touched. The closing was much higher on every single day. 711, 711, 90, 728, 746, 747, 748, 757, 759. This is the day I took a trade exactly on 750 call. Why? Continuous higher I close. Look at the OI. The shots have been continuously like in closing their position. They are exiting their position. And most importantly, the short covering as it is going near to the result was more and more in the current series. So in that sense, it is a Q3 which is happening in the current series and I wanted Q1 to be happening in the next series. When I say Q1, short covering in the current series and long buildup in the next one. 
Look at this data on the next series. 717, sorry, this is the date. 714, 714, 30, 730, 714, and 750, 51, 60. Okay, and 62. This is the day. And what is that which I'm seeing it? Every day it is a long buildup. On this particular day, it was a small, minor, like in a short buildup, which was like in well before like in 11th and 12th. Absolutely fine. So what I did, I went on that particular day, invested around 10 lakh. And now I know that the risk which I'm taking is like in 5 lakh can easily wipe out. Moreover, considering whatever the previous corporate banks are been announcing, the results were have been awesome. And ICICI is the leader in that segment. So naturally, you can expect a better result. And more importantly, before me, someone has taken a massive position. If these guys have taken a massive position, they would be thinking there should be some kind of a result which is going to be like in coming in the positive territory. That's the reason they're going to be taking it. And you needed to go along with them rather than going on the opposite direction. When we bought almost like in a 10 lakh, uh, sorry, uh, 10 lakh worth of like in uh, options. And that is a trade which I've like in, uh, given you guys a clue how you needed to watch out for these kind of, this is a scanner which we are going to be placing at. So in case, if you wanted to know, watch this video, how we have taken a position and I took almost like in a 44,000 quantity, 750 call, beginning of the day, it was around like in third, taking a, like an almost like in a 13 or 14 lakhs, trailed it, immediately it triggered my stop loss. It's absolutely fine. We bought it somewhere around 20 to 23. We were able to get almost a hundred percent return within like an overnight position. So this is the beautiful trade, which I would suggest you guys have to be looking at these data. Only thing which I've done, nothing else. Let's get bad. Okay. So this was the data which I was looking at. OI Pulse can be an absolute beauty. This is like a you know, once in a year opportunity for me. If I'm getting one trade like this, that's more than sufficient. Okay. So guys. I'm telling you, I am a very, very rare guy who will take in a stock option and I will only take a trade only in the liquidity ones. And I was also looking at the Reliance data because both Reliance and this was giving you the result, but Reliance was not giving me a conviction to go and take a trade. Whereas this one was giving me a hundred percent conviction. And then I just placed like a 10 lakh into that. And my previous profit of the previous day was 5 lakh and I was ready to risk it. Guys, watch out for all these kind of a trades. This is where like an, you as a trader will be able to make money. Okay, now, what is the scenario which I told you? What should I, what should be they doing it? Should they be breaking the super trend? Is there a signal as of now? As of now, no. But what are they trying to do now? If they are breaking the super trend before 132, then the like and uh, what to say, whatever the positional uh, like and play or like in the guys who wanted to take this market lower, they are losing their grip on this market. Yes, this particular candle is going to be very crucial. Another two more minutes. I don't want them to break the super trend. Let's see. Let's see how it is going to be playing out. Guys. Oh my pulse will be a beauty. We have given like a, not only from the scalping angle, you can look at it from a seller's angle. You can look at it from a buyer's perspective. You can look at it from like in a straddle guys. Even the straddle guys are going to be enjoying it today. Why I say that? Imagine you are a straddle player. You are playing it on the bank nifty. You are playing it on 37, 800 here. Look at the scenario. You would have sold both 37, 800 call and put in the morning somewhere around 9.30 at around 4.30 rupees. What is the price at which it is trading now? It is trading at 268. All you're going to be doing is the blue line is your VWAP and this is going to be your price. You just needed to keep trailing it. Just a minute. Yeah. Guys, it's an absolute beauty if you are able to understand it and decode it. You can use the VWAP as your stop loss. Many are using this. They have been getting consistent return. And most important thing, when I say VWAP, it is a combination of both the 38,000, 37,800 call and put. So combined of it is currently trading at 308. 
So if you are fearing about there is a sudden move which is going to be happening on either side, you can keep this level as your stop loss. Combine that and then place a stop loss based on that. You will be able to enjoy it. Already you are getting like an almost a fifty percent return on your investment. What more you need? Guys, this is a short straddle. If you are thinking about taking a strangle, then yes, you can do that. Okay, short straddle is we are going and shorting both call and the put on the same strike. Strangle, if you are thinking about taking a trade, either on the upside. Say for example, if you feel that no, 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 market is going to be going on the call side, like an higher. And if you are a seller, you can also sell the OTM strike thirty seven eight hundred and this side thirty seven five hundred. You can clearly see, morning it was two forty eight, now it is trading at ninety eight. It's a perfect seller's day. We have been enjoying it. It's not only a buyer's day. If you know how to play in this market, you should be able to enjoy it. Thirty eight and thirty seven five hundred. In this scenario, if you are going for a long strangle, you are not going to make money. This is a perfect day for a short strangle, which is working out pretty well. Guys, long strangle. This is not a day when you know that they are not like in giving you the look at this. They are taking sixty seventy percent away from you, and they are giving you only twenty thirty percent. That is not an ideal day for you to become like in a like in a long strangle. Now, now that they have broken that uh, what to say the super trend, should I be like in thinking about taking a trade now? Will you take a trade? That's very good. So wait for the signal, or wait till see like and what they are going to be doing near to the Viva area. Trust me, who would have made money today? If you are a short straddle guy, you would have made money. If you are a seller, you would have made money. If you are a long buyer who are playing positional on the put side, did you would have made money here? Is it a good for like an, an a player who can continue to hold this position? What about the positions which we have traded today? Look at this. The price at which we traded here is like an almost three sixty five to three seventy. It is trading at three forty seven, four twenty three to four thirty. It is trading at even though it went to five fifty. Now it is coming back to the same level. After some time, it will fall. Okay, so this is looking absolutely a level wherein not good. And Nifty, it is way far off even from the uh, like I know what to say the super uh, sorry the VWAP level. Yes, it has to go there. But trust me, if you are a player who would have made enough money, I would sincerely say avoid all the trades in the second half. Because this is the area wherein easily you can get yourself trapped. So looks like they have wanted to listen to me, right? What did I say on the super trend? Yes, scalper would have definitely made money. Another one more second. Yes, they have broken that. They have broken that. <laughs> Now, whenever you see the super trend is getting broken, in the immediate next candle, you are not going to be seeing like in the candle again getting broken. Instead, what they will do is they will hit towards the VWAP zone if the VWAP is like in fifty uh, or hundred points nearby. They will try to hit there. Okay, that is the area wherein you can expect some kind of a resistance to be there. Okay, so guys, it is too early for us to conclude on the zero or zero. Let's see after two thirty, because this is like in a way too early for me to consider for the zero or zero. Let me see what else is available. The new high and low. Okay, it's got as the only one. Now look at this. The overall OI is built up on the call side, then the put side. The cumulative OI is four crores on the call side and two point eight crores on the put side. What is the change in OI today? Where they have built up maximum position? Call side only eighty two, put side around one point one. So even today, these guys are building up massive positions only on the. put side compared to call side which is suggesting me they are going to be like in keeping it in a particular range they are not going to be making a large move this is a interval wise oi clearly the calls and the puts both are like in now short covering is happening on the call side in the last 15 minutes so be careful 
and on the puts they have started to add more position but positionally the puts are like in starting to have like in some long unwinding and like in calls are getting to see some kind of a short covering but trust me these are all like an artificial moves which is being done temporarily and one more clue which you can get us from the big oi movement this big oi data can also give you a move where exactly the shots are covering up their position where exactly the shots are building up their position and so on if you look at this data 1245 to 1250 that is the last time you got some kind of a short covering on the other hand you started to see some kind of a short build up happening in the last 5 10 minutes which is huge considering the market expiry and other things someone is trying to uh, like and uh, think that no we are not going to be letting these guys to go lower and lower we will try to short them okay so the put writers are coming into the picture here the premiums angle you are currently having a big premium on 37800 and 37900 37900 still with like another two and a half three hours to go for the expiry we still have an 100 rupee premium which is massive with another two three hours to go the premium even here you can see how the premiums are the trade at which it need to be happening is like and say for example the price at which it is trading is 138 out of that 138 116 rupees is a premium on the put side that means the market which is going to be closing 138 minus 130 116 sorry something which is going to be closing for 22 rupees it trading at 147 which is not a good news okay so the premiums are the ones which is there and moreover i don't see like a much of uh, like an uh, instruments trading in the negative today and put side premiums are little higher now the call then the call side premium which is clearly suggesting that it is going to be an adjustment day wherein they are going to be at making an adjustment on both the sides so the entire money which is traded on the put side here on 37800 is a premium out of 150 rupees 91 rupees is a premium on call side on 37800 ce 150 is the trading price out of which 91 is a premium so you can see that using the last traded price there guys i wouldn't be doing in hedging on a day like this at this juncture the reason is the premiums are still higher you can only do like an adjustment and they are going to be like in making a move here and there and trying to eat the premiums and moreover what did i say in the second half to be watched out one is the dow another one is the wix what is the dow doing now slowly from negative 20 or 30 now it has gone into 25 points in the positive territory okay so considering the dow is like and slowly recovering in case if they are going to be recovering towards like and what is a 50 100 points then it will be a problem area watch out for that guys absolutely zero position i am not taking any trades at this juncture zero at this juncture because we have made it enough money for the day i'm just going to be observing it as much as possible see where the market is and moreover tomorrow is a holiday don't want to carry any position with the 320 or anything avoid as much as possible because it's a long weekend why you wanted to take a trade even if the system is going to be giving me a signal at 320 i'm going to be skipping it Okay, so there is no point when you have made sufficient money. Try to avoid. Try to avoid. Now, where is your next trade? After the initial moves, we only got like an one kind of a two candle theory in the morning. The two candle theory has played out. Now again, I needed a two two candle theory in case if I wanted to go on the like an again either on the upside or on the downside. Downside, it is more of a possibility looking at the trending oi data. Upside. i want them to clear both this vwap and the resistance line of 38055 if they are clearing both these levels then probably yes i can look at going for the long position but considering the market move and everything better to avoid because we have got enough opportunities to make money we have done that there's the most important thing for a trader come into the market with a target and once the target is achieved try to stay light if you are not going to build that attitude i'm telling you like a market is going to always punish you i have seen that many a times i would have made money big in the morning just because the market creates more and more opportunities i think that the market is trying to give me more opportunities then i enter lose everything not only the profit and lose my capital as well guys that attitude is going to be the one which i want everybody to stop it in case if you are not going to be planning your trades then whatever the money which you are going to be earning you are going to be like in losing it 
Okay. So please understand that. Are they going to be breaking the super trend once again on the downside? Guys, one more thing. This may be a move to be like in a trigger out the weekend stop losses and watch out the low 1224. Before 124, we need the new low. Keep in mind on that one. Okay, they just broke the super trend to trigger the weekends. Like and who have been shorting the market, they would have been got triggered by that move because they would be normally trailing super trend as the trailing stop loss. In this scenario, if their stop losses would have got triggered here, they will be hesitating to take a trade here. Okay. If they are making a low 124, that is the time. By 124, they needed to be breaking this low of, I'll show you the level. They needed to break 37,821. Currently it is trading at 37,867. Or no, 50, sorry, 76. We have needed another 50 point fall from here. Okay, watch out. So it looks like they are determined. Are they going to be taking it lower? Another 20 more points, 25 more points. So they're defending the super trend as much as possible. They're not letting it go. The okay, second half is going to be interesting in case if PM comes and announce, makes an announcement that there is going to be like a 1.3 lakh crore package for the banking sector. That's it. A big boom, boom. That's it. The market will just like an go sky high. Guys, anything is possible. Guys, it is all a source-based information. You do not know when the PM is going to come and make the announcement, neither me. Okay. But let me tell you, if there is going to be an announcement, there would be some insiders who would have already known the news. They would have taken the position. Guys, watch out for all the banks. In the last 15 minutes, you can see all the banks are in red. If the next 15 minutes, if the, all the banks are getting to be green, then yes, there is a possibility. Let's see. Guys, this is our Telegram channel link. So for to get like an all the free entries and everything, just try to get into our official channel, option scalping. How many of you wanted to be part of the discussion channel now? Guys, let me check your scalping capabilities now. Are you ready? Join our main channel. Are you ready now? Okay, because like and many have been asking me from the morning for the next two minutes in our channel, I've just posted the discussion channel link. Use it to enter now. Sorry, where is that? Okay. 
Okay, this is the channel link which I have posted it in our. This is the channel link which we have posted it in our main channel. It will be available till 1 7. If you are a quick scalper, scalp it. Another two more minutes. Guys, try to avoid high message there. We don't want any high there. Don't spam it and don't post any forward materials or anything. Then you will be immediately blocked and don't post any negative or offensive comment. You will be immediately blocked with no reasons being given. So use to discuss your trade ideas and other things. Don't post anything. Don't post anything which is going to be a forwarded material, anything, and always keep your communication in English. Let us be like and having a clear view on what we are wanting to achieve. Another one more minute. The group is going to be getting closed. Guys, others are able to join it. We had more than uh, like 500 people have joined so far. Done. Okay, so the link is closed now. See you all next time. And the Bank Nifty, wow. I think the Modi has delivered what we wanted it now. <laughs> Guys, look at that candle. Modi came and India has used like and government has supported the banking sector. The sector is very strong now. Okay, today, this is going to be like a kind of make or break moment now. Will the bank Nifty is going to be like and towering and powering it? Will they be able to take the VWAP level out? The VWAP is clearly acting as a big resistance over there. Will they be able to take it out in the next few minutes? If this is going to be the candle, which is going to be having more than 50K, the following candle, I wanted it to be like a much more bigger than that. Is it going to be a day to create history where the shots are going to be completely covered in blood? Guys, get ready for a vital and a big move. Will they be able to do it? HDFC is in green, SBI, PNB. These are the movers who are taking the market higher. Cortex, Axis, Indus, High IC, ICI, all of them have been like taking the market lower. 50K candle coming on the green side. Can it have a follow up now? The most important candle for the day. Will the bank Nifty be able to push it up? In case if they are doing it, watch out for 37,800, 37,900. Those are the guys which is going to be giving you a larger move. Let's get ready for an immediate, immediate move. Once this candle is getting close, the following one is going to be the next one, the most important and the vital candle for the day. Will that be a quick change in the trending OI data? Will the trending OI is going to be reacting to the Modi speech? Yes, already we are getting to see some kind of a long unwinding is happening. Will they be able to take like an additional load on the put side, a big OI drop happening on the call side? In case if that is going to be happening, you can expect a wild move to be happening on the upside. This is the crucial candle. Will they be able to break the VWAP? The VWAP is acting as a big, big resistance, but don't try to enter now because this one has gone with the volume on the upside. Moreover, it's a news driven move. Try to avoid as much as possible. Let's let the news settle down. I hope you guys would have enjoyed that commentary as well. Yes, that is where you guys needed to like and keep your like and breathtaking moves happening. I just wanted to give you guys that little bit of a glimpse of how the market can give you a move. So did I like and live up to the expectation of a commentary or like, and this is not a commentary? Signal is there in the Nifty, but I would still sincerely say avoid it at this juncture because this is all news driven. As I told you, this cannot be like in making a move on the news. The news is going to be completely driven out, but yes, it is taking a resistance, but I would sincerely say with the way the market has been moving, it is like in making a wild moves on both the sides, avoid it completely at this juncture. Okay, so now you know why I said that the VMAP is the most crucial candle, correct? 
it has given you whatever the move and it has fallen as well and is modi speech is that's it i thought he is going to be taking the market higher <laughs> so whatever the move 100 rupee like 100 or 125 point the entire move has been wiped out in the scandal guys this is absolutely crazy so how many of you lost the kidneys on the call side now <laughs> <laughs> some of you would have lost the kidney on the foot side some of you would have lost the kidney on the call side both the side kidneys lost <laughs> this is what the market is for you didn't enter you are the best one <laughs> okay stop loss it scalped okay guys this is like an absolutely crazy day if i were you i would definitely avoid it at this juncture Deepak, that's a good one. Absolutely. Look at that candle bar. Guys, this is crazy. They can, in a single candle, you're getting like 100 rupees wiped out. That's absolutely crazy. Guys, 38, 300 went from like a 400 to 525, again back to 420. This is absolutely unbelievable stuff. Do not even bother. Guys, it's not a European mantra effect. It is more of like an, a Modi effect. PM Modi at the Sydney dialogue. So he's saying that like, and we have been doing whatever the things which we needed it to strengthen in the banking, uh, like, and banks have been recovering the bad debt. And he has been talking a lot of positive things about the bank and the banks are the ones which, which is leading the rally. And you can clearly see ICIC, HDFC and the SBI still in the move on. So they are also saying about the credit flow being smooth and every banking challenge with the solutions like NPAs, the bank recapitalization, everything has been addressed. So it is more of like a uh, pep talk, which he's giving it to the industrialists, telling them, guys, our like an economy is robust and sound and we are making all the efforts to make it a big one and everything looking beautiful. There's a nifty signal came in long back, but trust me, if I were you, I would definitely like an avoid any kind of trade at this juncture because this is like an one trade. It is done. Now they have like and done all the damage and they are making a move. Please, I'm telling you honestly, when it is a news base, no matter what you are going to be doing, imagine if Modi puts a word, okay? Like and think that like and Modi says, considering all the reforms which we have done, we are abolishing the income tax. That's it. The entire market will rally like crazy. The words are going to be very important in a news driven day. The OI data and everything will be taking a back seat. Okay. So watch out for them. Like an until Modi goes out of the TV, please, please, please watch out for it. Anything can be possible at this juncture. And look at this, whatever the move which has happened on the previous candle, everything has been like and wiped out. They are moving it literally on the higher side. Will they be able to take it out? Will this be the new law which has been done and then the market is trying to inch up higher? Can they take out the VWAP level? Yes, that's where like in the retailers needed to be really careful with these kind of moves. Okay, so they don't worry about it. If you are a retailer, yes, now it is not the time for you to take a long straddle. You needed to just wait it out. Let them go out of the TV. Then probably yes. Short covering is happening. Still, I don't see a big, like, an, uh, what is a spike happening here. Trust me, these two levels have to be taken out. Then you will see a bigger, bigger short covering happening. It is similar to what you have witnessed it on a SBI move. How many of you played it on the SBI expiry day? SBI, when the results came out, the whole day the market was playing lower. When the SBI came in, immediately the market went higher, but the OI on the trending OI didn't come down and immediately you had a huge sell off and the market closed it at the day's low. So remember that in spite of that, that particular day, the market went above the VWAP for some time. Here, I'm not even seeing that, but I wanted to see a significant short covering happening in case if I wanted to see that move happening. Look at this. OI, yes, there is a short covering happening, 
but not a massive one. Trust me, both the sides, they are going to be triggering your stop losses. Honestly, don't be in a hurry in this market. Guys, I'm watching the news in the CNBC now. So government has supported the banking sector in every way. This sector is very strong now. That's a key comment which has been coming in from the like and Modi. Financial health of banks has improved considerably and all the banks, but looking at all these scenarios, the public sector banks were expecting something big, which has not been happening. The public sector banks are the ones which has been falling big because they would have thought the PSU banks are going to be getting like a massive support from the government move, which has not been happening so far. Yes, and made that announcement. Is it going to be the last one surprising in the end? Will he be going to be like an announcing that little bit of an announcement towards the end of his speech? Let's wait and watch. So how do you follow the news during the market hours? Like in considering today, I just kept it on mute. Otherwise, I normally keep it on like in a sound so that that sound is going to be coming into my ears and then I can view the charts on the other end. It's always keep like a multiple source of like a news. You need it to be updated on the news real time. What a day, close to 3,000 participants and you guys are enjoying the show. And most importantly, we are relaxing because we made money and time for us to be relaxing it. Okay, by constitution of the NARC, 2 lakh crore of stress asserts is going to be, banks must adopt a partnership model with clients. Okay, that's an interesting one. What kind of partnership? I don't know that. Government has supported the banking sector. Yes, that's good. Guys, I use CNBC, I use like a uh, stockage, I use like an ET now, I use like a multiple sources, the live men, the Reuters, the AFP news, and I use the red box, and then the first quack, I use CNBC, and I use uh, uh, like an what to say CNN money, and uh, another one is on the US and Financial Express and so on. Thank you so much, Meena. Like in coming from a teacher that you are enjoying the commentary. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Scalping is going to be a skill wherein it takes years for you to practice it. And moreover, like in more the time you are comfortable with a particular screen and a the setup, then you will definitely be able to do it. And thanks a lot. I hope we, all of you are enjoying it. And like in uh, looking at all your messages, I literally thank you from my bottom of my heart. Amul, you have made almost like an 11K. That is like an almost 15% of your capital. Please stay light now. Do not even bother to take a trade in this market because you can lose out in an 80K capital. You have made 11K. That is like a next 10, 15 days. You should not even be taking a trade. That's the kind of money which you have made now. Beautiful. That is your biggest profit. Yes, absolutely beautiful. Guys, I wouldn't be taking quickly once the VWAP is broken. What I would be doing is this VWAP and this, like in the trend line, which are like in the support line, which I've drawn, I needed this like in resistance to be taken out. And I want the two consecutive bars, even if it is trading above the VWAP, that's going to be the most, most crucial level. Watch out for that. Watch out for that. Parish, 11,500 out of 50K. Amazing. Amazing. 10% out of your 33K. Guys, you guys are locked rocking. Okay. So you, when you guys are making this much, please understand don't compare yourself with others like and just because shiva has made like in one lakh i should not be thinking that i should go and achieve that one lakh no your capital size is different my capital size is different someone who is making more money than me his capital size is different so most important thing is try to stay light based on your capital set your expectation first time in life one lakh profit with your life with signals perfect amazing to hear vijay Guys, get to see like and many of you are breaking your biggest profits in a day in spite of the market is like until at one o'clock and you guys have been rocking. That's absolutely beautiful. And the most important thing is waiting for it at the right time and entering. And more importantly, guys, whenever the market is making a move, always watch out. What did I say on the 15 minutes here? Can you see this? All the banks are getting into positive territory, especially the SBI has been making a 1% move and that's amazing. Four lakh and made 14,000 today, super, 16.2% ROI. 
So let's do a quick IPL auction. Who got the maximum ROI now? 28K loss, or like, I'm sorry, 28K and 375. Wow, that's amazing, Pradeep. Still, you are able to make an, like, a recovery. That's a good one. 35%, 75%, amazing. 10%, 5K on a 5K capital. 9%, 12% ROI, 50K, 5K loss. It's okay. As long as the loss is something which is e like a minimal, you can manage it. 4 lakh, sorry, 4K loss with 1 lakh. 62%, 25%, 9 k on 15, 1.5%, 25, 4, 25, 90, 1.1, 4, and 800. Guys, it is like in a pumping in and the messages are like a more than crazy now, which I'm able to unable to catch up. 1%, 40K loss as of now, 2.4, 25,000, 10K loss, 3% profit, 10%, 1 lakh, 7, 13, 16.8, 100,000 oh, so loss, 20% ROI. Guys, the messages are like and keep flowing in. I don't think I'll be able to catch up. <laughs> anyway, I hope all of you would have enjoyed it. And but guys, people who have made loss, I know it is one of the difficult expiries, but don't try to like and uh, what to say, uh, go into like in a revenge mode at this juncture. Now, the next trade for you, where where can I take a next trade? What if the market like and now it is trying to break that super trend? Come on, guys, VWAP volume. Can you punch in the volume, please? I want the volume. Guys, watch out for the 37,800 and 37,900. Okay, don't go for the OTM strike. These are the two strikes which can give you a massive reward. It is trying to take a resistance. Guys, look at this. Why I wanted this resistance level to be taken out. This is the level wherein it took a multiple support yesterday and it is trying to play in that zone. Now, it is an ascending order bar. Perfectly like in moving it. It is almost getting me a volume on this one close to like an 49. It is almost getting into 50K. Every parameter is getting fulfilled and it is a full body green wig above the VWAP. The most, most, most crucial candle is going to be the next one. Trust me, even after this, we will get several. I wanted this candle to close above the trend line. And most importantly, I needed to see another bar now pumping it up. If this next bar is going to be doing it, I'm telling you, this is going to be a wild move on the upside, which is going to be possible with the downwards at the positive territory, with the wicks falling from almost 16 levels to 15. It is a perfect recipe for it to make it on the upside. Will it be a day wherein the Bank Nifty is going to be showing the way for the Nifty that I can do it on the upside? Will you also follow me? Okay, this candle, it is almost still like another one minute to go for it. Are they going to go for it? with so much of things happening. Let's look at the RSI now. RSI is like a beautiful, the trending OI data. Yes, this is still like a not moving lower, but the only thing which is happening is the put side OI is increasing. I wanted the call side OI to be like and falling pretty fast. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing which is happening. Will they be able to? on the live market. Guys, the OSPL signal needs a lot of confirmation. As I told you, the OI, trending OI data is still not giving me the confirmation. It is not still giving me the confirmation. That's the reason you're not seeing that. Let it give, let it give, it can. Trust me, once the move comes in, we will still be able to chase it. But unless the move comes in, there is a possibility you may lose it out because it can also quickly fall. This is the crucial, crucial candle. I don't want them to fall below the VMAP. And at the same time, the Bank Nifty needed to like and power it up from here. Will they be able to show the way? Trust me, if they are going to be doing it in this candle, this is going to be the most crucial candle for the day for you. Will they be able to pump in the volume? Come on, do it and show us. And with one day to go, like in what to say, with the expiry in place, and there is like a lot of holidays in place, will it be a big massive move which is going to be happening in the next two bars? The volume is not coming in. Come on, it cannot be a fake move with so many things happening. Can the Bank Nifty go into the green territory with HDFC at 0.53, SBI 1%, and all these things are happening now? Will this guys going to be like and taking it to the chin and then like and making the market move higher? This is the day for it to like and show that like and yes, I can move it higher with the volume as well. 
Guys, this is a candle. Volume. Come on, pump it up some volume. Are they going to be doing it? Only like in the 16K as of now, 17. Another one minute and 35 seconds. Are they going to be doing it in the last few seconds today? If they are going to be doing it, that's going to be a vital, vital day. Guys, the open on high, I'm not sure whether that is going to be possible, but trust me, I wouldn't be going on the signals at this juncture on the downside. Nifty is struggling, but, but trust me, anything is possible if the bank Nifty is going to be making a move on the upside. I have done my bit to move these guys like, and they are not budging at all. <laughs> guys, with the kind of commentary which I gave, at least they should have had on like in some kind of a move, which is, should have been happening. But look at that. <laughs> they were not able to do that. <laughs> guys, like an absolutely avoid it until and unless you see a two candle move. Otherwise you're going to be seeing a massive profit booking. Then again, you will be into a trouble. Okay, now, now you know the reason why I wanted you guys to wait for the two candle theory. Look at this. The OI on the call side has significantly reduced to 1 crore to 83 lakh and the put side OI is increasing to 66. Amazing. Will they be keep increasing it? Another one. Guys, eight more seconds. Okay, even I'm not going to be losing hope. The next candle, if they are going to be giving me a large green bar, Okay, that is a heavy possibility. Next candle is going to be the most, most crucial. Will they be able to show me that? Are they going to be doing that for me? If not, it will be like in a weak move and you will be seeing these guys like I'm going to take everything away from you. Can it be a big green bar? Guys, even if this candle gives me like a more than 60, 70K volume, then absolutely fine. The move can be happening on the upside. This is the most one. <laughs> Guys, I love this comment. Hearing this commentary, even a Venkatapati Raju would have hit a six. I don't know how many of you know Venkatapati Raju. <laughs> He's a left arm spinner from Andhra. Okay. <laughs> he will not even come to the Greece. Even if he's coming to the Greece, he will not be able to make like an order, say, even a stroke. Okay. You cannot defend it. So I love that comment. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vinod. <laughs> even Venkatapati Raju can <laughs> hit like an you know, six. Okay. I think like an, we would have made him to what to say, like, an, come on, I don't want to hear to this guy. I needed to somehow hit a six now. Huh? Okay. Okay, this candle, like I'm literally moving it, but look at the volume, it's absolutely pathetic. Guys, everything is changing, but the only thing is the volumes are not picking up. Trust me, imagine if a guy who has not been able to make the other guy to like and get an exit, then he's not going to be making any money out of it. Guys, we have taken enough trade. I am going to be taking the next trade only when I'm seeing a two candle theory playing now. <laughs> Thanks, Shaker. Guys, I like an, yeah, like and I used to do the Nityananda imitation, but not now. Like and I used to do it like an uh, earlier actually. But if Nityananda would have been like and looking at this market, how would have reacted? I know there is a move, but this move can come at any time. It is coming near to the VWAP. But you see, I see, but market is not seeing that. It may move, but when you are not moving, I am moving, you are moving, but the market is not moving. <laughs> this is the way you would have told you, right? <laughs> I don't know how many of you have heard it like in the Nityananda thing, but Yes, that guy is a funny guy, actually.
guys i used to be like a what to say in my like in childhood i used to do lot of like in mimicry now look at that now you would have understood the importance of the two candle theory now look at the way the market is falling now once again from there is market is all about like in having fun how many of you are feeling stressed out when you are taking a trade today i don't think like and you would have enjoyed like and even though you would not have made money i made you guys light right that's a exact thing which you needed to do it guys trust me though the signals are coming in on the nifty with like and so many thing i think oh modi is out of the screen now okay so the enjoyment is what is going to be like and keeping us all interested in the market Yes, trading is a lonely profession, and you needed some kind of an entertainment to be keeping you going. Okay, that's the most important aspect in trading. Don't blindly like and just take everything. Something in Hindi, guys. Like, and unfortunately, I don't speak much of Hindi. I, okay, like, and maybe like, and when you guys would have been asking me in the college days, I would have like and tried to mimic uh, what to say. uh sharukh khan with the ddlj movie that is the only movie like in uh, in my whole of lifetime i would have seen at least like in 20 30 times because every other day we go to the college we skip the college and one of the other friend will be asking me shiva let's go for a movie which movie they will take it only ddlj okay so they go along with that and we also go there watch it even though i don't understand the language and i think i would have watched it just for sharukh khan and like just for that what uh, a fun and entertainment big time sharukh khan fan at that time Okay, so all the moves, whatever the move that has happened, you just like and got it on the downside. Okay, so no point in like and you making a trade on the upside. All the moves, whatever the hope that was given, now you know the reason why I told you the most crucial candle is this one, wherein they should have taken it. Wrong entry wiped away your profits. That is purely because this market is not an ideal one for you to do a trade. this i i don't think i will become like an rj or anything but this is like in something out of passion i'm doing it and i'm not sure how long i'll continue to do this as well but as long as i'm doing in commentary you guys can enjoy it maybe for another 6 months one year i might do that okay beyond that i'm not sure whether i'll continue to do this yeah nifty has given a sell signal and it has given you all the moves glad that like and how many of you got saved just because i told you wait for the second candle great 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 many who didn't sudhir you are the unlucky one then maybe but glad the signals were not coming in on the call side both on the nifty and the bank nifty guys this is where oi pulse is a beauty for you okay it can easily give you the signal and say like no 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 you chase the call side but it didn't do it instead it is waiting for it giving you a clarity why you should not be taking a trade it gave you this both the stop losses were not hit and it would have given you a result in this candle itself if you'd it have been doing that great to hear that suma great to hear that guys yes the retailer stop losses they know with like and where the but what we have done here is we have also smartly analyzed where we needed to place a stop loss here okay that is a beauty about oi pulse so every time people say like shiva how did you determine this stop losses another thing the stop losses are determined based on the market move based on how the oi is positioned where exactly the maximum positioning is happening and everything guys i'm doing in session in case if you guys wanted to like and know about how to learn about the two candle theory if you are looking for an like in a budget option this is the best moment for you to enroll for this i'm doing only one session in december that is only for elon markets which is going to be on 5th december live like and sorry this is going to be on sunday between 3 and 6 or something and 8th and 9th on that particular expiry i'm not going to be available on like in any other platform except this register now so that you get to watch the recordings also from them if the recording is going to be for lifetime this is a golden opportunity don't miss it because the cost also is going to be very very cheap i believe like an early bird offer is around 2499 which is going to be expiring in the next couple of days 
So don't miss out this one. And after that, it is going to be like in a 3499. So day one, three to six, day two, 830 to 330, day three, 830 to 330, because day one and day two, we will learn. Day three, it is going to be similar to today, wherein we would have gone through all the concepts and we will be going in detail and taking trades as well, so that it is going to be a fun on day one, day two, and day three. The two candles here are using a kingdom model. Are you ready to join me in live market to experience that? Guys, the discount is already given here. It is 2499. That's the best discount that you will be able to get it. It is coming at like a you know, cheap price almost for three days, 2499 with the recording, everything. A golden opportunity for all you to experience how we use the two candle theory. What are the things which we are going to be learning? Everything is going to be there. And the most important thing is the two candle theory works. And many of you know it, how it works as well. Okay, what is the escorts doing now? It is locked in the upper circuit. Yes, it is. It is moving, moving higher. But guys, it is like in 2000 rupees. So naturally, you can expect some kind of a move to be happening. So whatever the fall which was happening towards like in 1723, seven, they immediately pounced it up higher and higher. Why it is happening? Due to the short covering. That means the shots are completely exiting the system and it is moving higher and higher. Enjoy the profits over there. Yes, it has broken the upper circuit now. It might be like and keep moving it higher. So one more time. Use this to enroll for the two candle theory at a, like in a low cost. And this is the only training session from my side available in December. The next one is the mentoring program, which is going to be in January and February. So Jan 10th to February 24th. A 20 day start trader mentoring program. This is going to be a lot more in extensive manner. Okay. So try to enroll for this. And most important thing is you get the recording for a lifetime here. Guys, what is a kingdom model? What I'm going to be doing is for all the characters which you are seeing it here, the indicators and everything. I'm going to be giving you all a life to the characters and make it more interesting. If I give you a character name to each of these indicators and how they can react in the live market and how I can show you like and how these guys will react, how they will be like and playing a defense or like an I don't I know many of you would have played a chess game. We will be like and correlating more into a chess along with how a king and a queen and a pawn and a, like a rook and a bishop, everybody is going to be playing a game in the market. If they are playing a game, how they will react and how the king will use your like and funds to manage that position. All those things are going to be seen in the live market. First time I'm attempting like and I've done it in the traders carnival, but I'm attempting it in a live market for all of you to enjoy it. Guys, yes, escorts had a long buildup. You and me were the ones who didn't know it. Look at this. Escorts had a huge, huge long buildup yesterday. I, I don't know whether you guys have seen the EOD data. They had known the news yesterday itself. Look at the next month. Can you see this? Something which was creating only like in 3,000, 4,000 and other things, even on like in the like in the rollover data was having like in only 69, 70. Yesterday, 10 lakh 75. That means someone has already known the news and they bought it. And today they would have been enjoying this 157 rupee profits. So the data is very much available. Unusual volumes. Guys, I'm going to be giving you a clue with the unusual volume happening either on the upside or on the downside. We are planning a screener, which is going to be giving you the clue. Done, guys. Done, done, done. Okay, signal on the bank nifty. Where is the signal? It is on the short side. Interesting, guys. Interesting. 
but trust me <laughs> with the news around and everything market is doing something and the signal is doing something which is guys this is these are the moments where in as a human i tend to feel that why this guy is giving me a signal <laughs> okay because one thing which he is not factoring in is the news he would have taken every other parameter into account that's the reason he is trying to give a signal but only parameter he would not have taken into consideration is the news that's a only hesitation which i am having it on this guys how to get the signal just go into the advanced chat search for ospl signal just add this one you will automatically see the signals but this is available only for the annual plan members and all the signals today have been rocking you would have got like an 1% more than that but this is a signal which i am going to be avoiding it because it is not looking at it is a naughty one it is not looking at the news aspect but yes it has looked at all other parameters but the news is something which it cannot digest it but you it will feel bad once you once you hit the stop loss it is going to be feeling bad open the advanced chart since i have saved already i will just load the chart for the nifty okay nifty is trying to inch up with the volume but it is still like in, i think this particular stop loss would have now triggered but it would have already given you the exit here but if you are holding it don't hold it this is not an ideal one and the bank nifty this is enough for you to make money how many of you would have made at least like in 20 30 rupees here itself if some of you would have entered on the signal you would have got an entry and exit as well guys it is pretty simple just go into the indicators field just search for ospl signal you will be able to get that signal added that's it guys this is more than sufficient for you to get your 1% or 2% done this guy is too smart i really love this guy the ai guys artificial intelligence is true to its core the way these guys are like an able to analyze something our human brains can't do it i absolutely love that guy guys if you are an annual plan holder only then you will be able to see the signals in the advanced chart okay if you are not an annual plan holder you will not be able to see the signal guys go into this go to advanced chart open up okay and go to this indicators search here then you can add the ospl signal it will automatically show up here but if you are not an annual plan member then you cannot just log out and log in once if you are an annual plan member if you are able to like in, then you should be able to guys the trading view subscription is different here we are providing it everything at free of cost in like an advanced chart right but in trading view they are going to be like in charging they are charging like in 500 dollars or 600 dollars they are not allowing us to add that if i am going to be offering everything in like an ospl advanced chart then you are not going to be making any subscription with trading view that's the reason they are not allowing us to add that indicator here but we are working out a way we are still working out talking to them see if i can get that what is the condition for the signal that is something our kfc recipe guys don't ask me like and what are the conditions there are like in different parameters and different conditions which has been set okay so if i'm going to be giving you the clue then everybody will be like and trying to do and copycat work which i'm not going to be sharing it don't be asking me that because this is like in a like in there are few features which are like in completely a game changer in the industry and i can proudly say in india we are the only ones we are having the signal the advanced chart the connecting dots the open on high strategy the oi expiry strategy the big oi movement the morning trade the 320 trade and some of the interesting features on straddle and strangle the market movers you cannot be finding it in any of the platform that you are seeing it in india in case if you are seeing it they would have literally copied us yes in is my entry out is my stop loss it's as simple as that 
but the most important thing is once i'm making an entry if i'm getting like a one person move in the following candle i would not be holding it because it is on a three minute time frame all these are scalping signals again and again remember these are scalping signal it's not a positional one i'm looking for only one percent return i'm not looking for like an intraday moves if you're trailing it and if it is giving you more than that then you can guys that is going to be for the next two years my plan is to release 25 new features every month one new feature which are going to be game changing features which i wanted to give it to you trust me you will be amazed two years down the line one year before when we launched it we didn't had this many we just had the basic like an oi analysis and then the option chain and other things within a year we have given you so much but trust me give me another one more year if i find more time i will be able to get the team whatever that i wanted it to do it with so much of information available we will definitely be able to get it guys there is going to be like a lot of websites who will try to copy us but i don't care but we will keep on moving giving you something very unique and which is going to be very very user friendly for all of you to do it and don't expect me to give the same features which is already available in some others because many people ask me sure why don't you give that and this why you guys are coming to me because it is very unique and i wanted to keep it as unique as possible if i'm going to be offering the same product what others are offering then you will always say shiva the other guy is offering to me why you wanted to like and i wanted to take a subscription with you and more importantly when i give you something it has to be like an at least okay i have invested something and i needed to get something back as well we are giving you the complimentary sessions plus the documents whatever that is there an additional complimentary session as and when we are available and most importantly when you are in one good trade you will be able to recover your cost in one single trade itself that's something which we have been working on and we will continue to do that guys yeah, definitely yes last year the subscription fee was like a little low we have increased it because we have been investing a lot on the technology and everything last year it was around like a 799 it is at 1199 next year yes it might increase it as well that's the reason many people buy the subscription now itself like in, there is a like a uh, person what he does is every day he makes money he keeps on buying the subscription he keeps the subscription till 2032 <laughs> i can't believe it every day he makes like and whenever he makes a lakh he just puts in some 10000 rupees by the i told him like and don't do that but he says you are worth much more than that and i'm ready to like and even let go of my subscription because it is worth the price at which you have been offering it to us so people who enjoy it they have been doing it yes you can add the subscription and the new subscription will start once your existing subscription is over okay that's the way it is so you can add multiple subscription once your current subscription is over then the new plan will kick over you can clearly see this is the current subscription once the subscription ends on 2211 the new subscription will start and then it goes up to like in 2022 like that it might keep going higher yes the bank nifty is trying to inch up higher so that's the reason i told you it's a very dangerous move this would have given you an exit don't even bother about the stop loss now now i wanted a move to be happening though it is moving higher and higher it is still not a convincing one for me to think yes it is going to be giving me a massive move Guys, on that note, we will take a quick ten-minute break. Guys, the twelve complimentary sessions which comes along will be applicable only during that period. Say, for example, someone who is taking the plan, he will be eligible for one complimentary sessions every month. So, if you going to the webinar page details here, you will be able to see the upcoming session which you will be able to choose it between like in 23 12 to 21 this during only during this period you can choose it and if you not able to avail it then you will it will 
lapse. You cannot avail it later because these are all complimentary sessions. You cannot carry forward or if it is getting expired, we may not be able to do anything. So it looks like it was a move to trigger the stop losses, nothing else. So how many of you got the latent view IPO? allotment no you cannot avail all the complimentary sessions within three months you needed to take only one at a month okay great some of you would have got it i think you will have some listing gains get ready for that there's the discount code for the go annual is come back 20. Guys, I believe comeback 20 can be used only once. Let me just check and confirm it to you. You cannot be using it multiple times. You can use only, yeah, only one time. If you already use that code, it cannot be used multiple times, sorry. Guys, we have given you a lot of videos at the end of the page. You can just click on the YouTube link, get the videos on the YouTube and you can watch it. For furthermore, we have also given you the document in our OI Pulse channel. I will share the link as well for the OI Pulse channel. You can join that and all the content related to OI Pulse is being shared there. Okay. Like in, uh, if you're ready, I will post it OI Pulse channel. You can watch all the content in this one. We have also given a QR code here. You can watch all the OI Pulse videos related to us. And we have given the document how to be a successful scalper. We have given you all the feature videos. So all the trades which we would have taken, how to use the OI Pulse signal, every information is being given there. Okay, so I will just post a channel link OI Pulse in case if you wanted to, you can join now from our main Telegram channel. It has been posted, you can join. So the channel link is available. You can join that using that. Guys, it's going to be a sideways expiry at this juncture with not a clear move. So I would sincerely say avoid it. The reason is, look at that. Guys, the discussion channel link was shared and it is closed. Probably in future, you may be able to join it. Both call and the put has been into negative territory. Please avoid it unless and until there is a one single side move is happening. I think looking at the current scenario with the, uh, like in the way, uh, what to say, the market is moving and other things, I would sincerely avoid it. Let's go to 2.30 to see if that is going to be a move on the downside or not. In the meantime, we will take a 15, 20 minute break and then we will be back for the 2.30 move. My throat needs a big time, like in an, what to say, uh, it needs, guys, it's not about like, an, you just needed to take it in a comical sense, okay? It is not to hurt anyone or anything, just like an way, some people with the way they talk and other things, the slang and other things, we just needed to use it to our, I like an what to say, just as a fun and entertainment. As a trader, we need maximum fun, whatever that is possible from our end, right? So we will just like and use it and then like and move on, okay? Guys, again, it is not to offend anyone, Please, please understand. This is just to like and have a small enjoyment. That's it. Absolutely, the market is not moving anywhere. We just needed to do it.
imagine this is the market which is e equal to mc squared if the intensity is the continuity of this market the market should have gone above the vwap and it should not have fallen below the vwap at this juncture the way vwap is holding up today it is going to be showing you as a matter which is have an energy when the energy is flowing from the right side of the brain to the left side you can see the market is coming towards the super trend and the market is going to go again to the vwap with the so much of intensity now you know say why i said the intensity equal to continuity continuity equal to ec to mc square the mc square can go higher so that the vwap can go and then it can take a super thing at the lower level but there is a difference between how you think from your left side of the brain to the right side of the brain if you think that the market is going to go up the left side of the brain will say take a trade on the ce but on the right side of the brain you know that there is a candle which is forming on the down side which is going to be problem it is absolutely the market which is needing your stop losses on both the sides and you are the only one who is a fool who is taking a trade in this market okay <laughs> okay so in case if this guy would be like in commentating yes i don't know how many of you know it uh, he is a classmate of my cousin in my native when he was doing his 6th standard and 7th standard okay so he is born and brought up in tiruvannamalai so he was like in a classmate to my cousin that's how like and we know him about what about the things which he has been doing and so on okay so that is nothing personal i enjoy his like and uh, what about the things which he has been doing it but i hope like in uh, the way he has been doing it and other things because we have had like an or to say uh, spoken to uh, if you if, if i can give you a small glimpse about like how he become a godman and other things at that particular uh, like an age when he was doing like in 7th and 8th uh, he was like in uh, we used to have ramanashram in through namal i don't know how many of you been to ramanashram okay so he used to go he used to like and sit in the ramanashram like and do meditation and other things he started to believe that like an he has some godly powers and other things okay so he, it was like an when is when he was studying at around 6th standard 7th standard and 8th standard and like <laughs> my cousin used to be his classmate there is there is a school called danish medium or something which is used to be there in uh, tirunamali that's where he did this like in a schooling and other thing but this guy has like in a peculiar habit he is not going to be interacting with the family there used to be lot of foreigners who used to come so what he thought is okay a lot of foreigners are coming to ramnashram like and they used to do a lot of meditation yoga and other things he started to get friendly with them okay he started to believe that like an okay if i can become like an friends with these guys i can make something in my life but he is a smart guy even at that age that's how he started to become more of like and then he used to say i can literally like and uh, meditate for almost like in uh, one week without having any food and other things guys trust me whatever the bullshit which he has been saying now he has been saying that even during that time but that's the way it is so people started believing him and some of them started to become his followers some of like and he started to set up that and everything that's how things have happened for him but that's a big big move which he has done it true but like and that's the way it is you just, guys the most important thing is not necessary that you should be just following him like and you can just like and ignore him but if you wanted to make like and what to say have some entertainment do it but at the end of the day no one is expecting you to like and just follow him or anything there are different things which has been done in the like and no not my school friend he is my like and friend of uh, sorry a uh, friend of like and not even a friend classmate of my cousin actually no mate i can't do that to gp mutu and other things sorry i don't even listen to them this particular guy at least like and we have seen it in our childhood and i think that's the reason i remember but trust me guys like and do you think this is the market wherein you will be able to make money at this juncture i don't think so because the market is clearly now getting into a range look at this 88 to 69 this is not a trending day either on the upside or on the downside at this juncture 
after the news came in they are just like and literally playing it whenever you see this kind of an one candle on the upside one candle on the directional change on the trending oi try to stay light no point in you go and fighting to the market the nifty is also like in uh, taking a small move on the upside that is absolutely nothing to suggest this is going to be giving you a large move but anything is possible in the last one hour look at this oi date sorry the dow futures which is currently trading at almost like in 56 point in the positive side it is going to be moving higher so trust me now i more than the oi expiry strategy and other things what i'll be concentrating is where exactly they are trying to build up the position you can clearly see both the sides the unwinding is happening on 37400 37500 the same long unwinding is happening huge unwinding of position is happening on the put side and the same scenario is happening everywhere that means the buyers are slowly giving up whatever that they felt that it is going to be giving them a move so clearly all the shorts longs everybody is like an exiting their position big time and where is the paytm is struggling okay one sec guys so it has fallen 25% okay so almost it is trading at 1601 for the day mm, interesting so people who are looking to play on both the call and the put you would be like in a long strangle if this is not an ideal day for you to do a long strangle looking at this that's not going to be good but i think uh, this is the first ipo in recent times which has fallen more than like in 25% 38000 this is the area wherein i'm expecting the market look at this both the sides the writers are fully on the job and looking at the current scenario i wanted to see in the next one hour whether this 18 can go to 35 lakhs so that they will be able to hit this like an 114 rupees but looking at what were the things which have happened now i don't want to be there in a short side of this market so look at this a trend line which we have drawn it is clearly like i'm trying to take a support that 37789 and it has literally went to that level of 37821 it literally almost gone there to take the support and then it is moving higher so this is the level wherein the previous high was done in february okay so that is the reason i told you that is a level wherein we can get some support so the market has absolutely taken a support and this is like an another trend line which you can see where the market in the past would have taken a support and then moved higher which has been a trend line since april may of last year and then it took a support sometime in august and now the trend line support is coming somewhere there and it is trying to close it above that level okay so let's see whether they are able to do it yeah it is a perfect trend line support so today's low is going to be very critical looking at the scenario here so this is the range which i wanted it to break either on the upside or on the downside for it to like and rally a lot in the upcoming days watch out so market is once again trying to fall below the vmap in spite of the viva like and dow is like and showing you all the positive signs they are trying to take it lower so which is going to be a clear sign that the writers are fully on the job and they are just enjoying it as much as possible trust me either it is going to the day's high it is just going to be a move to trigger the weekend stop losses on both the sides some of them would have thought that the market is going to be giving them a breakout they would have been completely trapped and it is just hovering around that zone as the day's high it is not even heading there now okay always 100 150 points now the fall has to be deeper and it has to be falling with the volume in case if i wanted to take a trade on the downside but trust me anything after 233 avoid it
Okay, Nifty is trying to break that level. Today's close is going to be very important for the Bank Nifty and Nifty. Are they going to be closing exactly at the support level or are they going to be like and taking a move above that level and then moving it higher? India VIX from almost uh, 16 odd levels, it has been falling towards the 15 odd levels once again. So on a falling market, if the VIX is going to be keep on falling, then this is not a good news for the bears. Guys, every dip is getting bought and it is trying to close it above the super trend level. One more attempt. Yes, another six more seconds. Are they going to be closing it above the super trend or below? They have closed it above. Okay, great. Are they going to be taking it higher from here? Or are they once again going to be breaking it? Literally, they are playing with the super trend as like an, an uh, like an, a level to do that. Okay, now looking at this scenario. Now, what am I going to do is going into option chain page. Okay, now I'm going to be looking at in the last one hour where they are creating the maximum position. Look at this. The OI unwinding is happening on the call side. Short buildup is happening here on 37,938, uh, almost close to like in 6,83 and 1,77. Even here, I'm seeing like in a short buildup happening here at 37,800 and 37,700. The only area which I'm seeing is the long buildup happening is at 37,900. Now I will look at 37,900 data. Something which is trading at 86 on the calls, sorry, put side, 56 on the call side. You can clearly see the longs are building up their position. But what is the biggest clue which I'm getting is here there was a short buildup under 70 rupees was fallen, but they are trying to build almost like in 3 lakh quantity, but the price is not moving higher. When the longs are building up, I should have seen a significant price action happening here, almost 100 rupees or 120 with a similar kind of a quantity getting created, which is not happening. That means what is the spot at which it is trading now? Spot is trading at 37,881. So something which should be trading for like 20 rupees is trading at 86. This one, absolutely zero, trading at 56. So this is the level wherein things can go ugly. But at this juncture, a sharp short covering rally is also possible, considering there is not much of long buildup, which is going to be helping them. The longs are unwinding left, right, and center here. In spite of the long buildup is happening, there is not much happening here. Interesting data. Guys, watch out for 37,900. That is where the maximum pressure is happening. So my hero or zero is going to be 37,900 in the last 30 minutes in case if either of the sites, especially on the call side, if I'm getting it at almost 20 to 30 rupees, I will look at both 37,900 and 38 very keenly. The reason is if there is a sharp reversal happening from this level, the 38 can be taken out pretty quick and 38,000 is trading at almost 30 rupees. Currently, the spot is trading at 37,910. If there is a move in case, if the 37,900 between 245, 250, three o'clock, if it is able to come towards like a 20 rupee range on the call side, that will be the one which I'll be looking at. Though the market sentiment and everything is on the negative, the bears are not able to take it lower. Let's see at three o'clock where these guys are going to be giving us a clue. So 37,900 currently it is trading at uh, 55 rupees. In case if it is quickly coming towards a range of 1020 at three o'clock, we will see if there is not sufficient shots are building up and the shots are building up on the put side, then that will be the area which I will be focusing there. But I don't want the super trend to be broken, but it is clearly a writer's day on both the sides. You can clearly see from 285 it has come down to 50, 102, 161 to 76. So both the sides has been a writer's market. Absolutely, writers are the ones who are going to be enjoying it. If you are a person who has made money, try to avoid as much as possible. It's not different types of signals or anything. Those are like in my, like in a daily chart where I'm looking at where they have taken a support and the daily chart and so on. That's what I was looking at it. That is not a signal. I'm just looking at like and how much like in moves happening and how many candles it has been taking. What is the move and how much percentage? Bank Nifty has almost fallen 10% from the day, like in a, what to say, from the high of the peak high, almost 4,200 points is gone now.
Hmm. Guys, this is the one. Thirty-seven nine hundred. Let me just quickly check the OI analysis on that one. Thirty-seven nine hundred. I'm just clicking it to see it. The short buildup is happening pretty massive on both the sides. Can you see this? Fifty-two rupees, seventy-four rupees, fifteen lakh OI buildup. 18 lakh OI build up. So both the sides, a massive short build up is happening. Most important thing is which side they are going to be covering their position. Whether they are going to be like and keeping both together towards expiry and then bring down the price on both to zero, or they are going to be making a massive short covering. I'm just going to be literally looking for it. Let me see here. Okay, so they are building up more positions on thirty-eight thousand and thirty-seven eight hundred, thirty-seven nine hundred. It is going to be the area of focus. Okay, full day thirty-eight k is the level wherein they are just going to be making the big moves. Okay, shorts have started to cover their position. Okay, option premiums. Guys, you can clearly see both the call and the put are trading at fifty-four fifty-four. So hardly any premium left on either side. So if someone is looking at it. Based on some of the data, the thirty-seven nine hundred, anything between like a ten and twenty range, will be the interesting bit for the last thirty minutes. Nothing else. But again, if you are taking a hero or zero, try to use your capital. Sorry, the profits, not your capital. You like a ten percent. If you have made around ten thousand today, thousand rupees, you can take a risk on that one. It can give you a hero move or a zero move. So prefer for that. Guys, Nifty on this market, I would sincerely avoid it because Nifty is not going to give you a wild move as the Bank Nifty is going to be doing it. Hero or zero, normally I will avoid it on Nifty, especially when the OI is going to be very, very narrow. You look at this; it is not going to be like in a day where. And look at this, one twenty to seventy. This I don't think they are going to be giving you any massive move. If they are giving it, then it you will be a lucky one, okay? But Bank Nifty at least can give you like in some wild moves from twenty. It can quickly go to forty and then come back to twenty again. That's the reason the Bank Nifty is going to be a crucial one towards the 3 p.m. and especially on a writer's market, that's going to be very important for me. Look at the spot. Thirty-seven eight sixty-nine, and it is trying to break the super trend and go below. Guys, please ensure that like, and you don't have any open positions in any of your logins. Considering like, and you have been taking trades, sometimes some of the orders you would have placed it, and it would not have got triggered. Please ensure that you don't have any positions of that sort. Okay. After a while, we have taken some trades. Overall, it is looking like okay. Made around three point five for the day. That's absolutely fine. I was looking for one percent, but I got like a more than three point five percent overall. Then I should be happy with that. Guys, I'm looking at both the sides, C and P. So let's see. Like, and uh, at this juncture, C looks more of a possibility than the PE. The reason is, look at this. The shorts have been building up, and the longs have been building up. But I'm not seeing a massive move happening here. But thirty-eight thousand, they have been building up positions here. Thirty-seven nine hundred is where I don't see much of opportunity. On okay, price is falling pretty fast. Oh, okay, it has gone to thirty odd levels now. Interesting. From fifty, it came to thirty pretty quick. Thirty-seven nine hundred put side. It is rising, but look at this. The Dow is continuously raising, guys. That's the reason it is going to be a tricky day, because in case if they have already decided that they are going to be making a deep fall, they will do that because many of them would have got themselves trapped. But trust me, with the spot trading at thirty-seven eight thirty-seven, a quick candle move on HDFC or any banks in the last thirty minutes, it can be a game changer. But I would sincerely wait for it to travel trade between like a ten and twenty. That's a only hero or zero. 
The reason why I wanted 37,900 is you can clearly look at this 18 lakh to 16 lakh and they are not adding any fresh position. And one more reason is when the shots are building up, I'm not seeing a massive move like an happening. It was like a more of a buying which emerged. And now the shots have started to pile up more pressure and you can clearly see the price is not moving that much big. So it can be a game changer. Let's see whether they are going to be doing that. But if it is going to be falling with volume, you can't do much. You can't do much. Between 10 and 20. The only reason is both the sides, the OI, as of now, the writers are more on this side. And looking at this data, 96 to 28, where I will be able to make maximum money. You guys tell me. If I am a writer, when I know I have created positions on both the call and the put, where exactly you will be able to make money when the market is trading exactly at that level. So 96, it is looking attractive to me so that I know this is the area wherein I can make. But unfortunately, if the buyers are more, imagine if the put buyers are more on that particular direction, if the smart money has already invested and if they wanted to make a fall, that can also be happening. But trust me, they will definitely like and try to do whatever that is possible from their end to defend it as much as possible. I believe now it has moved from 25 to 40 quickly. Look at that. Guys, it came to like an almost 25 hour zone. I was expecting it to go below that level, but it has already doubled from that level. And you can see the market, how it is quickly recovering towards that zone. So 37,980 now, but the premiums are still, did anyone bought it at like a 25, 22, 15 to 20 is the range, but 25 is a risky one again. Okay, some of you have bought it at 25 and booked it also at 45. Wow, that's interesting. Bought at 25, booked at 45, almost a 50% returns. Amazing. Again, it is back to 30 odd zones. <laughs> it is like in a quick move, right? 28. Guys, the book is from our mentoring session. What we have done is we have compiled whatever the things which we have learned during the fourth mentoring program. We have made it into a book with the learnings from the mentoring program itself. It is like an, uh, it is all about like in scalping and intraday and how we are going to be looking at the data and everything. So it does give you like an, a complete insight. Okay. There's the hero or zero, which I'm looking at is like at 39, uh, sorry, 37,900, which is like in somewhere around 20 range. It came to 25 and double to 40, 45, but I would have been so keen if it would have gone towards like in 15 to 20 range. That is the only strike which is like looking interesting, provided the way the OI is here. Look at this. There is a short covering which is happening. There is a like in a short buildup which has been happening on the call side. But in spite of the short covering, I'm not seeing a significant price move happening on the put side. That's the reason call side I'm looking at a little more interested. The reason is it is almost 18 to 1681. Let's see where exactly the writers are going to be piling up in the last 30 minutes. Some of the smart money on expiry day. What they do is buy the call options or put option when it is trading somewhere around 15 to 20 rupees and then they know that they will be able to double it when they make the like in a trending move on the opposite direction okay so sometimes that can be a possibility look at this it went lower quickly like i'm bouncing back but look at this spot level this the spot is where the like and price is going to be closing right if it is going to be at 37 888 then the entire money which you see it on 37 900 can go to zero 
Okay, so with that being said, we will see how they are going to be doing it. Guys, if it is going to be coming somewhere between 15 to 20 range, once that can be tried as in hero or zero, but I would sincerely say, don't try it with your capital on a day like this because writers have been doing it left, right and center. It can go to zero also. Already it has doubled once. 37,900 CE, that's right. It has moved from 25 to 45 already once, but I wanted a quick fall. I don't want it to slowly, gradually going lower. No, from 45, a quick fall towards like in 15 to 20 range, and then a quick move towards 30, then that's it. Exited, and I would like and be happy with that. But the way it is moving now, let's see whether it is it has a scope or the potential to go lower. So why did I choose that? Because I'm not seeing further like in a long, uh, like in a buildup happening on the, like in a, what to say, uh, put side, the longs have started to unwind their positions and so on. This is a good sign. The sellers would be keen to look at that. And you'll be also be keenly looking at whether there can be like in any fresh shots that can be built up here. Those are the things which is going to be very interesting. And 37,800, I see both the sides, the shots have been like in building up their position, but Will they be able to look at this? The price has fallen like and significantly in the last one hour, almost from 226 to 100, which is pretty significant on the call side. There is like in a huge long unwinding happening, but will they be able to defend it? That's the question mark. 37,800, the OI is 35 lakhs to 9 lakhs. Okay. 37,900, both the sides of premiums are crashing. Okay, but like in call side, they are making a move. 37,908, something which should be trading for 7 rupees, it's trading at like in 50 rupees. I would sincerely wait till 3 p.m. No, there is no gap in the last two candles, guys, no. Guys, offline session, it will be happening after like in February or March. Nothing, we are planning it at this juncture. So 37,900 on the put side sometime back, if you would have seen it on 100 rupees, now it is trading at 50 rupees now. Both call and the put is trading at 48,48. Can you see this? It was trading at 100 sometime back. Now it, this one is 48. This one is also like in 48. Both are like in traveling together now. So both has the potential to go to zero. The reason is spot is trading at 37,905. So something which should be trading at like in 10 rupees on the call side, it is trading at 57 now. Wow. So from 25, it has gone to 55. It has almost done its job. I would have loved to see that would have come to like in below 20 so that it could have triggered some of our like in people who wanted to get into the long. So now it has moved to from 20 to 75, double X, triple now, 85. Wow, what a move. Something which should be trading for 35. It is having a huge premium. And let's see how the OI is. Now the shots will be like, I'm feeling the pressure on the call side in case if they're doing it. Guys, these things can go either side. Why I say either side? The reason is whenever the writers who have been writing it for the whole week, they will not wait till 3.30 to like in wind down their position. Imagine if I would have writing it from 500 odd zones, I'll be happy to book my profits at when it is around like in 30, 40 rupees. That's when the quick move, which will be happening and you will be seeing like in a quick uh, premium move happening and from 20, it can quick, quickly go to 50 or 40. Why? Because the writers who have been writing it for the whole week, they would not even be looking at to go to the zero level. They will try to cover their position because they don't want to lose out the profit in the last 30 minutes if there is a wild move. That's the reason we pick and choose the, like, in a, what is a hero or zero, something near to that level, wherein it can give me a reward. Now, look at this. What has happened here? The longs have started to build up the position and 1892, 1898. It is like an even Stevens now. When I say even Stevens, either side, there can be like in a big move happening wherein they can wipe out a large, large sellers. So both the sides, the sellers have been creating the position. And at this juncture, 
something which should be trading for 38 40 rupees is trading at 60 65 so let's see who's going to be the one who's going to be winning the battle here what i wanted is i wanted the long to be beating this price action when they are moving it higher if they are not doing it they will use all those opportunities to sell it again guys trust me 37900 is the level i think they might be hoping to like and close the index today in case if they know that uh, no we are not going to be getting either big move or a down move so let's try to close it at that level so that's a big possibility watch out it's a beautiful weather in bangalore it's been a beautiful weather for the past two months i don't know how many of you are from bangalore but absolutely it's been uh, raining and how about in chennai is it like in still raining in chennai oh okay red alert so be careful guys stay safe tomorrow market is a holiday so enjoy your time out like in uh, go to nearest tea stall and have a good cutting chai it's raining yeah this is a very good season for you to have a nice cutting chai right go out have a cutting chai come back enjoy it thanks itesh i feel honored Zero or zero six k come to iroli i will definitely come guys don't worry <laughs> looks like that was the only opportunity now the market is heading higher and higher so the hero or zero whoever got it at 25 you would have been like a rocking now it went from 25 to 75 it should have come to like 20 for some of you how many of you placed your orders at 20 and it didn't trigger that you are feeling bad. <laughs> Tough one, right? Sometimes that's the way the market is. Now it has gone to 80 bucks. It's absolutely fine. 21% ROI. Wow. Guys, I would still strictly avoid the put side today with the way the global markets are looking like and other things. And they were not able to take it lower any further. And moreover, look at this data now. You tell me what is happening with the OI here. The OI on the call side is around like in 16 lakhs. OI on the put side is around like in 21 lakhs. Unless and until there is some massive move happening. These guys are creating massive positions here. So which is clearly suggesting me, Shiva, there is every possibility they will try to close it at this level or they might try to take it higher because there is no fresh positioning which is happening. You needed some large moves. If it is an expiry move, they needed to do it now. They needed to do it pretty thick and fast on the downside, pretty fast. Otherwise, you can expect these guys to be like and doing and move on the upside. Hmm, looking at that, one more opportunity from 80 to 50 now. Can they quickly go towards like in 10 and 20? It's second time it's possible, provided it is happening at 335. But I, I wanted the move to be like a pretty fast. Okay. When the fall is happening, they want it like in a quick move and then like in a quick bounce. If that is going to be happening, then probably yes, it is a possibility. So now already it is trading at 79.80. It came back to again 50 odd zone, 30 to 35 rupees. And look at the move which has been happening here. Something which is pretty quick, 37960 from 378, like in 20 or demons, like and look at this almost from 37, 8, 900. Okay, 37, 830 to quick move towards like in 39, 38,000 now. 
but I'm not expecting it to cross the 38K because 38K, that is a huge barrier, which is like I'm waiting for them. Why I say that? Look at the call writers here, 34 lakhs, 16 lakhs. So these guys will not liking it to go above that level. So 38K will be defended somehow. Between 37 and 37, 900 to 38, that is the level they will be looking for it. But trust me, if they're breaking the 38K today, you will see a strong, strong up move. And the wick, the way the Wix is falling, look at that. Wix has gone into the green territory. That means they have been recovering pretty, pretty rapidly. Guys, watch out now. 38,000 also, in case if there is a rapid move. <laughs> and already like in 37,900 gone from 25 to 100. 4X now. 4X. Now, can they make a move on 38K as well? Can they make a large move? But it is time for you to not take a position there because it is already trading at 34. The entire money can go into zero. The reason is the spot is trading at 37,976. I would have seen still like and believed like an in case if it could have gone to like a 20 odd range. Only one time, at least for us. It's absolutely fine if it is not coming in that range. I would sincerely avoid it. And now look at this. Shots have started to cover from 18 lakh. It has come down to 13 lakh. On the other side, it has gone to 22 lakh. So these guys are going to be absolutely enjoying it. So they know from 100 odd zones, we were able to bring it down to 17. And this is something wherein they can take it to all the way to zero. 38, are we seeing like in a short covering happening as of now? No, 37, 800 long buildup is happening. So someone who wanted to play a safe game can look at deep in the money, which is 37, 800, 37, 600, any 50, 60 rupee fall, that is the level. So they are going to be like and closing and like and making the move at this level exactly 37,960. There is watch out for 38,000 PE as well. Currently it is trading at somewhere around 40 odd bucks in case if it is quickly falling to 10 rupees, a quick move from 40 to 10, it can also be like an in hero or zero, the 38,000 PE. Okay, something which would be trading for 15, it is trading at 44 rupees now. But the way the market is like in trending, it is going to be an interesting one. The fight is going to be very interesting. Someone who's trying to do a long straddle, Think about this, 38,000 CE and PE, both at like in 15, 20 rupees in case if you are getting it at 3 p.m., both the sides at like in 20, 20, 40 rupees will be our investment on one particular direction. If there is a fall of like in more than 100 or fall, like an increase of 100, you will double the capital once at least. That's the way is the hero or zero can be taken on that one. 37, 800, the shots have been like in uh, taking the cover 102 from 54 to 102. A huge short buildup is happening, unwinding is happening here, and a massive move is happening above that level of 38. Guys, trust me, the more the market is going higher and higher, these guys are like in going literally bonkers now. So the hero or zero perfectly played on the call side. How did we analyze it? It is perfectly based on the OI data. When I saw that the OI is not building up and moreover, as in a guy, if you are a writer at the 233, you have only like in 30 or 40 rupees on this side, you have 100 rupees on the other side and the OI is similar to it, where exactly you will be focusing. That's what we did it and we got that. Only thing is it didn't come to our 20 range, but it came to 25 now it is trading at 100. It has given you like an Forex in the 30 minutes. If you'd have been analyzing this zero or zero, based on the OI data alone. So ERO or zero is purely based on 230 to three where the OI's buildup is happening, where exactly the writers are focusing on, where exactly they're planning to make a move. That's something which I'll be looking at. And the Dow futures and the VIX, it is, as we discussed in the morning, it is perfectly helping the call buyers who would have bought it at the lower level, they would have been able to make money. Okay, so currently it is just trying to hold up around 37,975, but trust me, 37,900 is trading at, almost 
uh, like 110. And you can clearly see all the banks in the last 15 minutes have turned into the green territory. Guys, every move is getting bought. And 38,000, it has been moving from almost 25 to 45. That guy is also like and picking up pace. The Dow is picking up pace. And our market is absolutely enjoying all the moves. Guys, this is crazy stuff which is happening on 38,000. They are literally breaking the afternoon highs here. Not even time is three and they are making it happen. They are making it happen. Guys, these are the time wherein either the market can give you a large reward or it can completely take the profits away from you. That is the kind of momentum which is happening now. There is still, there is a scope on 38,000 now. 38,000 something which should be trading at 15, uh, sorry, 15 rupees is trading at almost 65, uh, 60. Can it fall? Because it has been a non-stop rally from almost 37, uh, like in what to say, this is the level. 37,900 to 3,800 point move, a quick one. Wow, guys, 37,900 from 25 to 178. It is crazy, crazy move now, 200 now. Can you see this? 22 was the low which got created. Now it is at 187. This is like in a clear, clear move because of these guys now. What a day. What a short covering which has been happening. It's usually like in 25 to 30. Yes, you can. But like, in, uh, I always prefer it to come towards like in a 20 odd zone in case if they wanted to make a massive move. But this is like in a going out of the bonkers now. Now look at this data. Six lakhs gone. They are adding more and more positions here. 38 is the level wherein I told like and many writers will be like and sitting on the like and bench. Now these guys will be on like in a completely shaken out now. Why? Because from morning, they would have been writing it from 219. The whole day they would have been preparing. 23 was the low. Now it has gone to almost like in a 5X and 10X. This is not going to be liked by them. They are going to be literally like in uh, shaking out. They are literally shaking out now. Guys, and that too, it's happening towards the end with the volume, not even three o'clock and you are getting to see a massive move. Wow, is this going to be a killer move for the writers who have been like and writing the calls for the whole day who has been completely trapped? Guys, 25 to 250, 10x now. Wow, what a move, what a move. <laughs> Guys, the most important thing, if you're comfortable with the profits and other things, stay light. I know some of you are still, how many of you are still trailing it? 260. Looks like a good bunch there. Wow, amazing. Both Nifty and the Bank Nifty, but Nifty, I'm not sure whether it would have been giving you the kind of rewards, but the Bank Nifty is absolutely like in giving you 10x rewards. Okay, 3 p.m. move. Can we get to see some kind of a profit booking? Looking at the current scenario, that's going to be a possibility. Can they make it? Guys, a quick fall because it has been like a moving almost nonstop. So watch out. It has been a nonstop rally. It's crazy move on the upside. Now all the calls are getting into the positive territory. The puts have been falling like in a big time. There's two candle theory is not going to be applicable after 2.30, but with the way the market is moving higher, look at this. The shots are the ones who are like and in getting into big time problem here. And moreover, the Y is not dropping much, which is clearly suggesting me that the buyers are coming in left, right and center there. Mm, interesting. Will there be a move towards the zone considering 3 p.m.? Will that be going to be like in a profit booking, which is going to be like in taking the market over in case if it comes in, that's the area. Watch out. Guys, we needed a big fall. 
imagine if there is an 100 150 point fall you can expect like another move on the upside towards for the super trend yes you can expect some kind of a, like an, a support to be coming in that's the area another 50 100 points can they come down pretty quick But 37,900 from 200, sorry, 25 to 250, it's an absolutely a miraculous one. Okay, another one minute and 25. There is an, like an, a selling pressure which is coming in at the higher level. As I told you, three o'clock move, it is coming down pretty fast on the downside. Will they be able to move like 100 points on the downside? A quick one. Yes, it is happening. Whatever the move which was there, they can they are trying to completely like and screw it up now. Can this become like in a big red bar? Another 40 more seconds. Can they close it in the red and then the following candle? Can they move it in the lower end? It's a volatile expiry. Anything is possible. Guys, watch out for 38K in case if it is coming again to 20 odd range. Okay, 20 odd range is the level. This has been a writer's paradise. Are they going to be losing it in the last 30 minutes? Let's see whether they have the potential to do it. Guys, watch out for 38,000 at 20 rupees. 38 CE. Currently, it is at like 58.60. In case if it is coming and trying to take a support, that's the area wherein they needed to do it. So whatever the move that has happened, they are just like and quickly like and pulling it back. It is like in a profit booking, which is coming in in the last five, 10 minutes. Can they make another large candle from here, which will tap them once again? Guys, a day to remember for all of you with the way the kind of move that's been happening, you guys are enjoying it to the core. But this is the day wherein they're just going to be showing you how the move can be done on both the sides. Guys, the support can come only near to the 38K. So if they're going to be going and taking that support there, then that is the area wherein they can make a move. And look at that. The Dow is also like in trading somewhere around that zone. Come on, guys. Like, and can they quickly take it to that zone and then like and take a reversal from there? It's 38K somewhere around that like in 15 to 20 mark. That's the only possible candidate in this market. So whatever the move that they get, they are taking it completely away from them. So are they going to be closing it at the day's low? Once again, will they be able to break that level? A big bar on the downside. Trust me, anything is possible in this market. The way they have been manipulating it, you can expect these guys to do anything now. Guys, look at that fall there. This is crazy stuff.
There is whatever the 37,900 which was given, they have completely, completely taken it away. There is this market is absolutely not for the weak hearted after two o'clock, that's 2.30, sorry. This is absolutely crazy stuff. Will they be able to once again, take it above that level and then take it higher? Another 30 minutes left for them to do it. Yes, I think the writers are going to be there enjoying it. So I try to like and avoid as much as possible. Looking at this current scenario, there is every possibility these guys are going to be writing it to the core. There is anything is possible. You can expect a big fall to be happening from this level. They are just trying to close it exactly at 38,000. 37,950 is the spot now. Will they be able to make a move? Trust me, the writers will definitely enjoy whatever the premiums that they would have got it. Are they going to be taking it higher? Come on, prove us that. Or are you going to be breaking the VWAP and taking it lower? Now you know why I ask you guys, like, and once you make money, try to stay light in this kind of a volatile environment. This is absolutely crazy stuff. is what a way to like and bring down the price for you. This is absolutely amazing. There's a spot is 37,960. Wow. Will they be able to close it exactly at this level? This is the level where they needed to do it. And the writers are still on the job. Come on, guys, take it one last time on the downside, a big one. Can they make it? Yes, they are just literally going through the roof now. Come on, one move, a quick one. Guys, absolutely, that's it for the day. You guys can enjoy it. Don't even bother to take a trade in this market. It's not going to give you any reward. They are going lower and taking it higher as well. This is absolutely a ridiculous stuff, what they are trying to do with.
there is avoid 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 if you are a newbie absolutely beautiful stuff which you guys have seen it today guys like and looking at this current scenario don't try to carry any overnight position on the call side or on the put side anything is possible in this market okay so with that 311 don't try to like and make any adventurous trades at this juncture thinking that like and no 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 i will be making money and then losing it out trust me this market is not for you if you are going to be like and taking a trade 30 is 7 900 went from almost 25 to 250 and then again come back to 40 to now again at 100 this is absolutely difficult trades to take on a market like this and this is the area wherein you can look out for the 320 but if i were you avoid it considering the three day holiday period enjoy your weekend with the family come back fresh and then do it guys on that note this is the coupon code for the ago annual and i would sincerely expect you all to give me a feedback on today's session at just you want to three on the twitter id tagging hashtag oi pulse so please do share your feedback and i want you guys to sincerely say what you will be doing it okay with that being said okay great i hope all of you would have enjoyed today's session and the session would have given you a complete insight on how you needed to be looking at this market from a different world altogether thank you all so much guys have a great evening and look forward to seeing you all on monday on the oi pulse open and high session guys i don't read books much but you can take inspiration from whomever you see in life as an inspiration and take it thank you all have a great day guys thank you thank you so much guys the books have been sold out we will try to do another round of a book in the near future but as of now the books have been sold out the last one we are completely like and sold out there thank you guys thank you thanks 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 for all your blessings thank you love you guys love you all superb superb to hear guys tomorrow i will be like and tomorrow is on holiday so don't expect tomorrow to trade it's going to be a long weekend three day weekend enjoy it enjoy the weekend that's what i would say Thirty-eight, one hundred went from a low of ten to hundred. Wow, it's amazing, amazing! What a day it's been so far. Both the sides, these guys have like and literally played, triggered all the weekends out. Both the seller and buyer, they would have like and literally planned on a day like this. Absolutely a terrific day. Thank you, team. Thank you all so much. I love you. Guys, if you are like and not taken any trades, and if you wanted to learn it, enroll for the mentoring program which we have posted, and don't try to like and lose out your hard-earned money without knowing how you needed to trade in this market because this market is going to be absolutely brutal. You can enroll for our twenty-day mentoring program. The dates have been announced here, and you can enroll. Thank you. What if you are like not squaring off your position? In case if you are not squaring off your position, if the position is in the money, then they will credit the amount and they might have like and small charges, additional charges. But if it is out of the money, you don't need to worry. Nothing is going to be charged to you. Okay. So this is the mentoring program, and I will just post the link if possible here. Okay. Okay. You can use enroll using this link.
So whatever the move that was happened, everything has been taken away. Guys, even at like in a, what to say, three o'clock, these guys are using the two candle theory. So what else I can say? <laughs> so the two candle theory works all the time now, right? Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you once again. Bye. Take care. See you all on another session. Wonderful session, guys. I hope all of you would have enjoyed it. On that note, I take a leave. Have a great weekend.